Hello, you guys. Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome. Martha's feeding G right now, so she might be listening. Hi, Crescent Moon. <laughs> Hello, Crescent Moon. Hi, hey, Martha. KK. Hi, hey, Dolores. Dolores. <laughs> Hey, KK. Dolores. D Doris. 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 <laughs> KK and Sonia. Well, hello, Sonia. You we ready for next weekend, Sonia? Are we? Are we? Are we? I'm not. Are you? And I didn't know. Did you need me to bring the brown bottles? Or am I supposed to be bringing those? Hey, Gerald. Hi, Gerald. So, if y'all saw my... um. My promo is where hashtag and bring back the clear glass. Bring back the clear glass. Bring like six. Okay, I will. Six brown bottles. We're planning grammars. That dog is loud. He's over there chewing on some. Uh, we're planning grammars uh, birthday party next weekend. Hello, Patricia. Hello, hello. Yeah, hashtag BBTCG. <laughs> Is it back the clear glass or bring back the clear glass? Clear glass. With the V or without the V? Yeah. With the V. So I did do it right the first time. Because there was two hashtags with a V and without a V. Bring black clear glass. Bring back clear glass. Yeah. Hello, Sandra. Hello, hello. Just old spaghetti factory. Hi, Patricia. What was the name of our big factory? What was the name of that place? Spaghetti Factory? The Spaghetti Warehouse. Spaghetti Warehouse. We had something like that. And it was haunted, supposedly. They did finally shut that down, though. The Spaghetti forever. Warehouse is not there. It's now an open area bar with like a super, super high bandwidth. Wi-Fi because they want people to work though during the day. If you don't have an office, Ow, if you need an office, so but you I wonder if it's still haunted over there. Well, I mean the building maybe. Hey maybe. Jan, hello, hello, and hello, hey, Miss Sugar Britches. Ow, stop! Hi Linda, me. hi Sugar Britches. Hey Linda, come on in, come on in. Uh, let's not bunch up at the entryway, y'all. Come on in. <laughs> we all have plenty of time. Hello Jerry. What yeah. is wrong with you? I think he wants his moment. He's attacking me. Say hi to the people. Stop attacking me. Thank you. You want to kiss you too? Mwah. Say hi. 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 Uh, we need to find a babysitter for him when we go to Grammar's. No, we don't. We're yes, we do. Him. No, I don't want to take him because he's not potty trained yet. We take him outside. No big deal. I'll be there. I can take him out. No problem. You're worried about the hotel. I mean, why don't we going to be at the hotel? We'll go there to sleep and wake up. And that's it. Is he getting big? He looks the same to me still. No, he's getting a little bigger. He, he keeps trying to climb up in my lap. He thinks I like him or something. <laughs> Hi, KP. Yeah. Aww. I'm gonna throw him. Throw him in our pen. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, we'll we'll let Martha babysit him. <laughs> Stop biting me. Give me back my sweater. I don't know why all of a sudden he's attacking me. Pow pow. Oh. Let me give you a pow pow. Just hold him and love him and squeeze him. No, he just bites my hand. You saw that. KP, <laughs> let Martha. It's a nationwide chain, but mostly West Coast. She's going to sell I think they may have one in Texas, but a lot in the Midwest, Arizona, California, Washington, Oregon, Colorado, Tennessee, Missouri. Looking at the menu and the side has some locations. Stop. Damn. Okay, Tim. You need to take that sweater off. What? What's wrong? What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know why he's all of a sudden picking on me. Scare him. Here, no. I'll... I'll give him a treat. Yeah, I'll do that. Come here, Verdell. Verdell. 
Come here, my sweet boy. Come here, Vernell. That's my sweet boy. What's it's like from? bacon. Um, as I'm, good as it gets. As good as it gets. Yeah, this is as good as it's going to get. Hi, Joan. Hello, hello. Hi, KP. <laughs> Hi, Joan. And KP's in. Spaghetti well, Warehouse, like the best Italian food ever. <laughs> is it? No. Hello, uh, Grace. Hello, Dana Grace. Hi. I'm so glad my on-campus work week is over. Do y'all have plans for Easter? I don't think I do. I do not. I don't know what my kids are doing. And Angelica, Angelica? Nope. Angelia and Ange, Angelia. 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 <laughs> or it could be I'm Angelia. Gonna, I'm going to learn that sooner or later. Angelia. Hello. Sonia's hosting. She's hosting the egg hunt. Is uh, Michael hey, going to dress up as a big rabbit? Hi, Hello, Cat Law. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, Grace. Dana. Maybe I'll host in a couple of years. <laughs> Who will come? All the little ones. Have no adults, just my little ones come. <laughs> oh, so you're laughing. So Mike is dressing up, huh? I have I have a Santa outfit and a Grinch outfit. I don't have a bunny outfit. together are y'all getting together at g sisters yeah well we weren't really invited anywhere so <laughs> and i'm not hosting anything this year oh we overthink it it's just angela oh <laughs> we do <laughs> yeah we just don't want to insult you angela <laughs> that's all well, he told me I was saying it wrong when I said it's Angela like, the like first when, time. It's like when you spell or say Bob backwards. People oh, get insulted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or mom. Yeah, well, they we get say upset. it backwards. And I say it backwards like, a lot. What'd you just call me? Mom. You better say it right. Okay, mom. Thank you. Because <laughs> you're like trying to say it backwards and they mm -hmm. get mad. Bob's too. <laughs> Don't get me started on dads. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, I can see him, uh, Michael, hopping around everywhere. So, hey, if um, anybody interested in sending a Grammar 104 birthday card, be oh, sure what? you email me for her address. Hi, Italian woman. Italian woman. Italian Jersey woman. <laughs> what? Anglican said, you could never, you could never. I have heard every possible pronunciation. That's what Anglican said. Oh, no, it's Anglican. You told me Angela was right. As I'm just okay. joking. I'm just throwing <laughs> stuff out there now. See what I did there? Mm -hmm. You see what I did there? Oh, look. Karen Williams decided to I show I should up. have wore a wig. Hi, Italian Jersey woman. Italian Jersey woman. Uh, Karen's uh, a, the glass is 90% clear. 90% of my glass is clear. Just thought I'd let you know I never left the glass. <laughs> well, how is the temperature? How's the air way up there, Karen Williams? What what happened in Baltimore? Oh, the you didn't hear that big tanker destroyed uh, a the bridge? bridge? Yeah. Oh, I did see a little video of that. Yeah, I was I. You know, sometimes I wonder if that stuff is fake because I'm like, how did they catch video of that? You know, because it looked so clear, like it was it was just sitting there waiting for the moment to happen. I didn't know if it was real or not. How is it on camera? A lot of stuff they do on camera and they it's all faked and made made up because you know how they zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. I'm like, mm -hmm, this is, you know, pre pre meditated, pre done. So I didn't know. I didn't know that was real or not. I did see a video of a true. Of a tanker hitting a bridge. So if you're waiting on any of your packages that were on that tanker, it's going to be a while. That was in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. mm. 
and it, it didn't have a the video I was watching didn't have any description or anything. It was just it was just a video. Mm, I didn't realize that's what that was. I catch little blips like on news sites. I don't watch the news anymore because yeah. I never had the TV it's on. It's so sad watching the news all the time. There's never really anything good on the news. <laughs> so I just kind of get catch the highlights, like national headlines. Great. Yeah. Ever since who? Yeah, Hoover has uh, cameras everywhere. My flea market treasures. Hello, hello. Hi, George. That's Jerry. Hi, Carol. Hello, George. Hello, hello. Uh, my baby. What's the matter? What's the matter? <laughs> yeah. My baby. It's going that now. I would think the chickens that the, the, baby, that the sky is falling. The tree tops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. What did I just miss? Mm -hmm. Is cold and wet up there by her. She had to get off the phone. Yes, I mean off the phone. Yeah, well, she's probably watching us on the phone. She left us yesterday for a short time because of the weather. Karen? Mm hmm Wait, because it affected something? Yes, she left us. Um, Jerry's trying to bring, bring back the what? The moo moo? Yeah, the moo moo. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, let me let me scroll back up. Okay, let's clear the banner. Oh. You just click hide current comment. There you go, Tim. You're getting the hang of this. You're doing really well, Tim Tim. Oh, thank you, Davis. Thank you. And hello, Susan. Hello. Hi, Susan. So, all right. Well, anyhow, keep my phone charged in case of yeah. <laughs> So, um, I don't know, this is, this is, I don't have anything else planned. The last two weeks, I have a slow week. I've been having slow weeks. So, I mean, as far as sales, because there for a while, I was doing like three and four in a week. Ew. Ew. <laughs> you try to bite me for that. Hello, Urban Cowboy. Hello, why are you hitting me? Because I'm showing off the baby. What is going on with shipping? YouTube. I don't know what it called. Oh, there's a great YouTube channel that explains the wreck very well. Oh well. I want to go see that now. I don't, there is something on these glasses. They are foggy. His tufted eyebrows. <laughs> His what? His eyebrows. Mm hmm. Little old man. Yeah, he does look like an old man. He reminds me of the actor who played the president in Clear and Present Danger. I forgot his name. This is Yes, he's still a hyper baby. He's very hyper. So, did she, Joan? Did you say what channel that was? What is yeah, going on called with what shipping? is going on with shipping? Okay, okay. When I first read that, I was thinking, uh, you were actually asking about our shipping. <laughs> no. So, okay. Well, we are going to do some uh, all clear glass sale. Um, there is one item in here that has some black on it, though. One item with black. He's so cute. And we're drinking out of clear glass. Oh, are you? I didn't know if you did or not. Yes, I got my, I forgot what this is called already. See, what was this called? That is your. I think uh, KP got this brand, too. Fostoria. Is it Fostoria? Mm-hmm. Hello, Marilyn. Hi. Hi, Marilyn. Dowdy. Dowdy. Doherty. Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Dowdy. Doherty. I'm going to say two or three versions of everyone's name tonight. Just like Angela Isak. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Speaking of, let's see. 
Did I get something? Beep, 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 beep. Nope. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, well, I guess we'll get started. We don't, uh, I guess we don't have a lot to say this beginning. Oh, they're going to, Martha's mentioning she's going to see the eclipse. That's, is that next week? Then following week. Yeah, that's the following week after grammars, right? I told David about it, but he has to be back by Monday. Did you get my email about the couple? Oh, sorry. The couple retiring. Oh, yeah. yes, that was you. Yes. And that's that. Where did I say that was? Um, in uh, Louisville. Did you eat your snack already? Yeah, we, we won't be able to make that. Or, I don't know how long they're doing it for, but we're not planning to go to Louisville anytime soon. Never know. Mom and I are drinking out of Fire King Jadeite. I will be drinking out of my Manhattan. Mugs that I'm keeping oh, it casual. Did we get that on video? What? I don't know. What? Avenue? Did you video that? Were you videoing in the antique store? The other day we went to the antique store and I found the Park Avenue water glass without the bubbles. Oh, without the bubbles. Did you? Oh, you didn't buy that. Yes, I did get that video. Yeah, bro, you are digging into my leg, bro. Yeah, better you than me now. Covering? Jack, would you like some vodka? David covering? collects jadeite. He's been holding on to any jadeites we've been getting. I'm gonna have the prettiest jadeite display, and where it's in clear blinko. <laughs> David collects the jadeite and the Manhattan, and he, which will be coming out in a video. And black glass. Oh, and black glass. And blue glass. And and pottery. A limited blue. I think I'm done with the blue glass. What blue glass do you have? Wait, where's the blue glass? Okay. There's like an army of a million Kokeshis. And we're just oh. below the million <laughs> Kokeshis are 12 pieces of blue glass. Mostly all fairy lamps. Not mostly all fairy yeah, lamps. Yeah, it's all fairy lamps in there. No, there's a. I'm like, what blue holder. glass? There's um, some. In, he ins barely has any insulators that glow, electrical insulators mm. that glow. There's the blue Blinko picture. Uh, one day I'm going to get around there. to showing y'all all the collections there's we have. A, there's <laughs> See, a I, did, I even forgot about that too bucket. myself. There lies a. Smush your glasses for me. The outside. Um, yeah, do y'all have all y'all's uh, glasses, the glasses that you have to wear to see the eclipse? Did y'all get those? Do they just put those anywhere? Uh, and Martha says, remember when bottled water was fancy? <laughs> when it was fancy. Yes, I love my mom hunting. You know, so I, I ran into Park Avenue also, and we were watching, we were watching. Okay, raise your hand if you've seen The Bodyguard with Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston. We just watched that last night. Raise your hand. It came up. Uh, yeah, let's watch it. It brought back old memories. There's, when I had a video store. <laughs> there's a scene in her kitchen. And there's Park Avenue everywhere. Park Avenue bowl. Glasses. I think, you know, I'm like, that's, I told him. I don't remember. There's that. Park Avenue. I'm like, there it is. There it is. I don't remember that scene. It's where uh, the bodyguard comes to beat him up and he's eating that. Oh, oh, oh. You didn't say anything, did you? Did you point that out? Yeah, it was right before I fell asleep. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> I so wish I had that Let's on video. Let's redo it. Let's redo it. <laughs> like a little old man and I went and poked him in the side. <laughs> uh. He jumped. It was hilarious. It scared him and the dog. <laughs> The dog was asleep beside him in the cage. <laughs> that was hilarious. I don't, hilarious. I don't remember you pointing that out, though. That's so funny. You do remember it. Next time, I'm going to video that, and it's going to be a meme on our channel. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're going to get started, because we do have a lot here tonight of little pieces. It's Jack-Jack. Jack. Jack, Jack. Mm -hmm. Jack Kennedy. 
Say hi, Jack Kennedy. Oh, and now it's Jack Kennedy. Was it's, it always that's Jack? his full name? It was Kennedy. Jack Kennedy. We call him Jack Jack, and then for short, we call him Jack. <laughs> okay. Okay. Give her kisses. No, no. Give her kisses. Lovey, lovey. I love her. If he bites me, <laughs> he loves her. My baby. He he is the best dog when it's time to go to bed, though. Mm. He's good at that. He's mm. he sleeps well at night. Jack Kennedy. Hmm. <laughs> so okay, we're gonna start off with um some little small trinket clear glass items. And for real short. No, that's it's way short, way short. KP. Hey Bonnie. Hello, Hi Bonnie. Hello. <laughs> Tim, any surprises or no, just some like Colombian old, old Colombian coin pieces. Just playing. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what? I don't think I have any surprises. <laughs> what do the ants do? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know how we're gonna yeah, I don't know about you, Davis. All right, I'm drinking um cranberry and vodka. Pray for me. Why? Because you didn't tell me we we're out of Malibu. You should have known. The last drink you had was barely anything in there. And yes, I poured the rest of it. Hmm. All right. You doing this starts and stops? You want me to do them? Davis, you were late today. I had to do your job. What's she talking about? She helped me um, identify some stuff. JJ for Jack Jack. Just Jack. Start. JJ. All right, I got it. Start is what? Where are we? I'll I, have it. It. I already have it in here. Nah. I need a number. What is this? Oh, way down there. Okay. Yes, I told you we we're going to start with some. You don't listen to me. You never listen to me. My favorite, what? Martian. <laughs> David's your favorite Martian? Yeah, I'll see that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I had some little cigarettes. I uh, got a little cigars and little cigarettes so I could use them just as displays. And where's your display well, now? Uh, so this this first item is a hi Lynn. A, a depression glass uh, cigarette or a cigar ashtray. Did anybody ever have one of these? Do y'all know what these are? Listen, Linda, listen, listen. I, I just, I don't know. Is this something that you carry in your purse to travel with you? Mm -hmm. The circle itself is two inches. So little dibbits, but we could use this as something else. Um, you could put your rings, balls. put your, put your rings in it when you're doing the dishes. Yeah. Okay. Or when you ladies are degreasing engines, put your rings in there aside so you're not getting all dirty. Okay. Or, or mm -hmm. put your burning cigarette in there. Some of y'all still smoke. Some a of traveling smoke. ashtray. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you still smoke. You know, you know, yeah, because the places you go nowadays, they don't always have it. So you can just slip this in your purse and. Or what, when you're in your comfortable flight of mo in mohawk <laughs> airlines and you need a, a travel Let me move my a travel right ashtray right here it it's really neat though i i wasn't i thought it was an ashtray but you know wasn't sure because i never seen one before but um I did have to look it up. I couldn't find this exact one. I saw some other similar ones that had like a, a double, like a little double maybe. Okay, the double ones you've seen that are very similar because uh, Ellie Smith made a lot of double ones okay. in a very simple pattern. Okay. Yeah, and it, clear, clear cobalt and block. Oh, see, her mom had traveling ashtrays. And what about those that bing bag one? I had a bing bag one with the metal. Uh, that I remember those. My grandmother having in her car over the little, you know, that little hump that used to, you would see in the, down on the dashboard, not on the dashboard, but underneath the dashboard in I between the Urban. two seats. Hey, and Robert. they would sit, it would sit perfectly right there and not move. 
Hey, Robert. Urban may know, but I think um, that'd be a great band name, the Traveling Ashtrays. <laughs> uh, bluegrass band. <laughs> really? Well, he's in Tennessee. All right, we're gonna count this down. You got tickets? I got. I just got. We I, got. Huh? I just scored tickets to the Traveling Ashtrays. <laughs> <laughs> and this is their giveaway. Uh, we're gonna count it down: ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Why don't you use a celebrity countdown? Oh, well, I got plenty to go. Plenty to go. Pin go. I thought it was an interesting piece, though. It's, it, that was fun. Hello, Houston. We're glad to be back. If you don't remember, we are the Traveling Ashtrays. <laughs> All right, that's going to Jerry, my flea market treasures. Are you going to use it as an ashtray or do you have other plans for it? She says, none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> it's none of your beeswax, Tam Tam. Oh, let me go get a box. Oh, I thought I did do that. Come on, Jack. Jack, you get a box. I took the box out with well, stuff in it, and start. I forgot to bring it in. All right. The, um, good Point. looking at uh, uh, finding one. Okay. Well, will you say one? Huh? No. No, yeah. I meant the box. No, the same one six. You uh, said? Yeah. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Good luck on finding a box. Okay, I have this little um, little traveling. It's about mm, four and a half inches wide from star to star. Okay. I didn't know what this was. This was interesting. i never seen one of these before, and it has a little handle here. So anybody, does this look I mean, uh, familiar to anybody yet? And I don't have one of those little skinny candles in here. I think I do under the cabinet. Do I have one over here? No. But... Uh, a little flower shape and it has these little divots where the candle would stick right here one of those little skinny stick candles um a pudding cup <laughs> i had and then it if you look if you see real here real close here there's little um little i don't know what do you call them see that little lever and there's a space in between a space in between and right here so here's four of these uh, dividers and a, uh, the candle, the skinny little candlestick will go in there. And then there's some more little dividers right here. So anybody, anybody know what this might be? And you would hold it like this. It's a little bitty knob to hold too. You, you'd have the traveling to... Ashbury. That's a uh, ashtray. That's a lyric. <laughs> Is it? It's a little some... bitty knob to hold. The... Karen know what this was? I don't even know if I showed you this, Karen. This would have not a candle here, and it would have one of those hurricane domes on the top for tea bags. <laughs> I guess you could you could even use it to hold a tea bag because it just slightly goes down in. But it's a dome would go on here. Now this is gonna take some time to find this dome, I'm sure, because the dome would have to be at the base two inches it looks like probably two inches round to fit in the sliver but it was really cute when i finally found one to see what this goes to to see what this was it was a, a little tea candle a little tea light a traveling night light or you know little clear crystal flower that holds a candlestick but it is a candle holder and a dome will go on top of it. A little glass, a hurricane dome, hurricane dome. That's what I was trying to say. But I don't know what, it, what else you could use it for. But if you can see the, the tray, I mean, the, the little divots that stick up. <laughs> David's going to make his own band now. Okay, so if nobody's interested in this, hello, Lori. Hi, Lori. Oh, good. <laughs> We're going again to Round Top on Friday. Friday. First, a honey hole, then Round Top. Uh, David's, uh, it's our, 
we hit up we just go and hit our, all of our favorite vendors mm -hmm. and there's one place that we didn't get to hit down at the end of round top that we still need to go to all right we're going to pass on that <laughs> but we two like inch dome we got to look for kp they're bluegrass <laughs> We like big butts. That's another song she said by the traveling <laughs> ashtrays. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You could. That would. Yeah. That would be pretty. Yeah. You could use it for something like that, and have because it has that little stand like that. Um. Let's see. Here we have. Hey, Margo. Margo a go go. You ain't left yet. Marco a go go. Start is. All right. The start here is eight dollars, and we have this clear, clear base mm. with some etching on it. I went and got found some flowers to try to use, and some candy, and and what. Tomorrow morning. Oh, wow. It's so close. She's so excited. She is leaving. Mm. It is 10, 10 inches tall. It's 10 inches tall. It's not itching. Yeah, it's not itching. It has etching. It's not itching. It's not itching, but it has etching. It's very simple in its design. Where's our black thing? Where's our black backdrop pen? Why do I pay for all this stuff and I don't have it? <laughs> Here's your piece of cardboard. Thank and, you. Um, Thank you so much. Construction paper. The other thing is that you have the light way too bright. So you let, always do the let light. Let me fix this. Let me. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Jack, Jack. Oh, does it look dark? I feel like it looks dark now. Shh. It's <laughs> mood lighting. Mm. There's the etching. Nice, simple design. Ready for a vignette. Pretty, pretty. Has Make a nice, simple gift. Impress your boss. Um, if those of you that still have administrative assistants, that's enough. Just, just bring in, bring in a nice little vase and some fake flowers, and you're done. You're done. It gets you out of anything. That's why I like that. Honey, I forgot to change the oil to your car. Here's a nice clear vase with some fake flowers. <laughs> Honey, I forgot to get your whipped cream for your coffee. Same thing. Okay, we'll count. It's 10 inches tall. It's this big. It's 10 inches tall. Okay, we'll put it next to Manhattan. It's a nice tall vase. Simple, elegant, and refined. That's the other word I was looking for. Can you see the etching on there? Mm, yes. Yes, you can. I showed it. I needed a. I needed one of those real skinny bottle cleaners. Okay. That can. Uh, You're welcome, KP. What else do we have? Here, starting at. At what? Sixteen. This one. This is a nice little heavy base. A EAPG. This is also 10 inches tall. Is that the same height as that? <laughs> Disclosure first. Yes. This does have a nick right here in the glass. See it? There you go. You can see how big it is with my fingernail. So, see the design of that? I had a hard, this is hard looking this one up. 
See the star flower design? It is a heavy piece of glass. Hello, Christmas Joy. Hi, Joy. And then the base is Joy. squared off. And pain. Sunshine and the rain. And then we have, this is cut glass. Then we have all the little stars. Put that black up because you're more... You're more clear than the glass is. So, can y'all see that well? It's got sawtooth edging. It is very pretty. Other than just the chip on the foot which we'll return to the back. But, you know, this is old stuff. Very old. It's a survivor. Mm -hmm. And it does have some weight to it. Sure, buddy. Nice thick glass. What are you doing? So... Okay, if we have no interest in this, we'll bring this one back later. I do love the design of this. Let me get my package of flowers. I don't know, is that good with that? I think these flowers look better in that other vase. I guess because it's a smaller opening. Like this one needs more, more flowers there. Sad, it, yes, very sad. It's chip. It's nice, a nice big piece. Can y'all see that chip very well? This one probably stands out more than most. So, okay, we're gonna pass <laughs> pass on this. Yeah, I sent Margo a. You know what it is? That's bothering me. This. Oh, I forgot that was on. I sent Margo a picture of an armadillo. She's always telling me, send me an armadillo. <laughs> we found an armadillo at Round Top drinking a beer bottle. You'll need this a lot. Yes, we will. That's why I said, why, where is it? Where's our production? <laughs> All right. The next one. Hi, Carrie Ann. Hello. Is a, a little perfume bottle. We're going to start at fifteen dollars. This is a four. Hi, Carrie Ann. Four inches. Yeah, four inches tall. Like that. Four inches tall. It's got a prism design. It is a screw on top. It's a thick piece of glass. The flat on there's no, I could not find no maker model on this. Just a nice little uh, perfume bottle, and it does have that little shine, and it smells like to me um, that was in here was like cotton candy or something. A little glass uh, stick. What does that remind you of? It smells like candy, some kind Ethel. of Ethel. Ethel. Smells like some kind of candy to me. Just a real pretty little perfume bottle. <laughs> Ethel, yeah. Whoever Ethel is. Has a flat top. Carol's in at 15. Carol Hello, Carol. Ethel. <laughs> Ethelene. It's, I want to say cotton candy is what I'm thinking of. Some kind of candy. It smells like teen spirit. There you go, KP. Mm. A little, little Nirvana <sighs> reference. I just bought that vinyl, by the way. Of what? Uh, Nevermind by, by Nirvana. I like how it picks up the light where it bounces like this. Because of the prism, I guess it does really bounce. Bounces really well. Here, I want to show it against that. This would be prettier to show the clear glass. 
Oh. This is the idea I'm going to put, you know, the, the blue white one. Yeah, and how do you do a, I mean, I just have to hold up this cloth. All right, we're going to count this down. Where is it? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Little. Okay, Carol, thank you. Carol, got that one, Carol. Um, for beers. For, for beers. For beers. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. All right. Um. Oh yeah. And there's something else. What? The Astro. So I had to go get a box. Here we go. How about a flower frog? You mean a pen holder? Oh yes, or a pen holder. Or a pencil holder. Can hold all my pens up here. Oh, wait, which one? Where is it? It is a pen holder. <laughs> right? Isn't this what this is? My son's sending me uh, pictures of houses. So this one is a, what is this one? A three inch. Yeah, it's a three inch dome. Has a slight dome to it, three inches and eleven hose. What? It has oh yes, great on holding marbles. See that blue does pop though in here. I'll hold it with my other hand. Hold it with your other hand, Shelby. Janine's in Hello, it. Hello, Janine. Hi, Janine. So, David's always looking for these because he's always trying to find them to fit into his um, black vases. <laughs> what well, was 44 pounds, girl? So, all right, we're going to count this down. I do have another one coming up, and it's bigger. Um... What is this? Eight. I mean, uh, 10, 9, 8, <laughs> 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Our arm's going to be tired. Yeah. I. This is why I would love to have just flip my camera around and point it at the things. Especially, especially with this black belt. I mean, this velvet. Thank you, Janine. I should have done that. I should have done that. Hmm. Should have, would have, could have. Am I right, Tam Tam? It would have made everything better. All right, we have. Or put it in your vase to hold flowers in place. That's right, Martha. What a great idea. Your... Very novel. <laughs> you mean actually use it what it's used for? Look how late it is in the day with Martha and her thinking cap on. <laughs> All so right. Next item is your drinking glasses, some rock glasses. All clear, y'all. Everything's all clear. What is he keep texting me about? He's being silly. Look at so I have two. How am I going to do this? Two uh, old fashions or rock. Lock. Can you clear that banner, Tim, instead of looking at what he's doing? <laughs> it's not him. And um, these are from Libby. Very nice. Uh, you can call it a whiskey glass or a bourbon glass, rock glass or old fashioned. Nice heavy base. Are these a starter uh, or a flat pipe? Where, where is it again? Where is it here? 10? Mm -hmm. I already had it. Oh. Sorry, Karen. She's trying to do three things. 
Uh, what I like about these is that it has a nice little um, blue tape. It has nice little blue tape. Look how it's squared, and then it has a nice star pattern that goes here and then up and down, almost like a north star pattern. This nice heavy set. This is a nice pair. So if you're um, interested in uh, adding to your bar cart or friends coming over, or you just want a nice little set for your, it's springtime, so you're getting ready for your porch or out uh, outside patio, back porch patio. These are a nice little set to have for your um, favorite drink, your spiked lemonade. So you have two, Robert's in at 10, and the nice little heavy set, you got the, the L, the Libby L on there, if that interests you, and very handsome set, I'll count it down for you guys, you want someone to do the countdown, or no, Tim? Here, let me, let me for get Robert. somebody for this. Spiked fruit punches and orange juice. Okay, I'm going to count this down, so 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and sold. So you keep going. All right. That was our friend Vinny doing the countdown. Okay, I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Looks complicated, though. Thank you, Robert. We appreciate it. Let's see. The next start will be... Do, 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 do. Let's see. Let's do... Since I was talking about patios, we'll do so, uh, four glass coasters. Now, I need to show, let's see, these are starting at nine. And do you ever know, Dave? I know, right? You know, let me show you this one. This has a nice sunflower or daisy, not a sunflower pattern, and it's etched, and it has round, a nice round etching as well. This has the same pattern here, except this had uh, gold around the rim which is worn a little bit and not the circle etches same with this one except um yeah same with that one and that one as well so four glass coasters ready for springtime for your patio patio tam tam is busy <laughs> doing something that should have been done already well i'm like are you setting up a camera yeah she's gonna set up uh the clear glass cam she's setting up the clear glass cam so starting at nine comes with a blue tape if you want it to all right I will set that aside it got so quiet when you came off camera Tim Tim when I <laughs> oh that's right 
inside dimensions are where'd it go to tam tam just had it what is it the little tape measure that was here over here why'd you take it it was on my little platform here yeah inside dimension is do 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 two and a half two and three quarters two and three quarters on the inside if it's Manhattan easily what else can it fit why? Not the rock glasses, that's for sure. You're welcome. Okay. It'll hold your, yeah, it'll hold your wine glass, but I mean, you don't need a coaster for a wine glass. I mean, obviously. All right, this next item, let's see. Mark that one. something interesting shall we let's see where's that cracker dish you had i don't know tim what cracker dish right here what is it not working Let's see, this starts at eight. Well, let's see, this is from handle to handle is ten inches from this edge to this edge. It's a long divided little tray for I don't know crackers or get rid of that. Get rid of that original Oreo packaging and put your Oreos in here and eat them before they get um, stale. Before they get soggy from the spring and summer humidity. Uh, this has lost some of the little gilding here. Somebody scrubbed it too hard or accidentally put it in a dishwasher quickly. But you got a nice little, very cute. It's a relic nice little dish. hobnail finish here. Put your um, cheese dip on one side, your, you know, cream cheese with that, that little sauce that you pour over the cream cheese and the crackers on the other. Celery, yeah. I think that would be, that would be a fun dish to have for things like that. Martha says these are great for olives and cheese and such. Olive, where's olive? Who are you? KK says, serve and eat Oreos like a fancy boss. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. One side celery stalks with peanut butter filling, and the other side with celery stalks with cream cheese, pimento filling, or chunks of potatoes. You can put your chunky potatoes in here, like our friend would do. Jeffrey Reed will put potatoes in here. Exactly. Olive is with Popeye. <laughs> yes. What is your, where are you at? I'm here at the um, cracker dish. Whatever this means. Oh. Okay. Is this way old? I don't think it's way old. But it's pressed. It is pressed. Okay. I'll count it down. Ten, not well, we don't have a bed. Oh, there's Karen. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two one is it for everyone i mean you're you're welcome to it 
Hello, Terry. You're welcome. How much were the <laughs> I'm testing the camera. Okay, what's the um, what's your next one? I don't know, Tim. I'm pouring it right. Where are you? You look like you're Thank you, everywhere. Ooh, he he's done this a long time and he seems a little flustered. Like, oh, no, else? no, it's just like you're you're doing stuff. Then I hear me as well. So <laughs> all right, where are you at? Did you finish these on this side? No, I didn't finish anything. Okay, do that one. So this one, you got one in here. There's only one more, right? This is the only other one? Yeah. Okay. Right. So this is another flower frog. And this is starting at 10. Karen Williams um, for the cracker dish, right? Yeah. Because he didn't write it down. Let me do that. Let's see. This is... Two, three, four, much. four and a half inches that would fit in, in a vase. Like if you had a piece of four and a, almost a quarter. So this has a recess. This inner recess is four and a half inches. If you're going to insert, if you're going to insert the um, frog into a vase so to top it so this necessarily wouldn't fit on the bottom of a vase this would go on top of say like a ellie smith like the cauldron planter that's three footed or um there's some other ones that are out there that are a little stocky like cauldron size these are great for the top tops of those but again Flowers, pins, marbles, um, pencils, uh, maybe not necessarily hat pins. Or if you have a nice little arrangement and you're very careful using it, um, cocktail stirrers. You can display a little cocktail stirrers in here. Just don't bang them around or pull them too hard or sideways or you'll break it. Because those are very, very, very brittle. So brittle. Okay. So that wasn't big enough for the one you were looking for to put on your black base? I don't know. I didn't want. All right. But Doris is in at 10. I'll look. So hold that one. Let's see if it. That... I don't think so. Did you count how many hoes there are? Did you count how many hoes? How many hoes? 16 hoes? 16. 16. This one has a slight dome to it. <laughs> okay. Y'all seen the Smith? Like Smith made a uh, two sizes of this one. This one's smaller at, but that's the idea, right? So you just have to find something that has four and a half. Four and a half inches to fit in that. But All right, we're going to count this one down. Not that was not clear glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to make that one big? Count this one down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Thank you, Doris. Doris got that one. Thank you, Doris. Doris, was it you? I can't remember if it was you or um, Doris. Was it you? Somebody else that kept asking for the needing double candle holders. Those elegant ones. Those. No, Wait, Rose. Was it Rose? Okay. You just showed me the other day. Yesterday. Okay. Because we did pick up a lot during the. Yes, I did. You right. doing the next one, you said? Yes. Now, moving on to. All right. We got Cinderella shoe. 
Let me take this little blue sticker off. Looks yellow. Does it? Is it that light? Yeah. Yeah. So this isn't any better? It's working. Just, I don't know. That'll work. It works. It works better than all the busyness behind you. Yeah, it'll, it'll work. So. So. It, it's ribbed. It's got ribs along. This is Cinderella's shoe. The the real shoe. And this is how tiny her foot was. <laughs> what do they actually use this for? Because it doesn't go in. It just stays right here. There's a little bit of bow right there on the tip. Um, is it a pencil holder? <laughs> is that what it was used for? That's what I would use it for if I had a glass shoe pen holder. <laughs> it is about going at this angle. It's about seven inches uh, tall and or long, should I say? And it stands about three and a half inches tall. Give me my pen. But it does look nice on your on a shelf. Oh, there you go. Hold your eyeglasses. I wonder if that's really what it's for. Is it would be an odd little planter because it goes at an angle like that. But you don't want tiny feet like that. You'll get you'll get stuck in the storm drain. <laughs> hey, Delbert. Hello, Delbert. But nice little slipper. It does have even grid. Cat Law says, "Okay, Dave, show us that you are Prince Charming and slip that on Tam, <laughs> my Cinderella." Yeah, only my toe would fit in. In this one. <laughs> Is that a size six? Dang, my chunk foot would fit in, would fit in there, and I'm gonna find my prince. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so okay, we have no interest in the shoe. Well, no, the not shoe. yet. Then we'll move on. Uh, tell me what my next one is. What is going to happen? All right, we'll bring this one back later. Okay. The next item is going to be, I guess we're going in order now, huh, Tim? Yeah. Oh, wait. We have Martha in at eight. Okay. We'll count it down for Martha. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Yeah, that'll go with your colored ones, Martha. <laughs> okay, that's yours, Martha. Oh, Thank Martha, you. you have colored shoes? I didn't know that. I didn't know you had some of those. Um, What is this? Trinket oh, dish. Oh, the mask. There you go. So you can talk about it. Yeah, this isn't going to work. What? You're over there. Why isn't it working? Okay, do, this, do, 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 do. this dish is um, four and a half inches across. And it stands about three inches tall. And Just keep it over there. Yeah. Okay, this is Trinket Dish. It's uh, made by Mikasa, M-I-K-A-S-A. So it's a nice little candy dish. It has a nice what is embossed um, flowers on top and um, nice vertical press on the edges of the actual bowl. And the top is very generous. It's very thick. The top is almost as thick as the actual dish. So you can fit a lot of jelly beans in there. Martha can fit a lot of condoms in there. Helen says, Tammy, what did Cinderella do when she got to the ball? What did Cinderella do when she got to the ball? She gagged. Why? <laughs> oh, Oh, my God. <laughs> KP says that's a crocus on top. A crocus? See, it's frosted. Some of them are frosted, of the flower um, petals. Very pretty piece. It's nice. Uh, nice. 
I have little trinket dishes that I have in my bathroom with um, that catches our catch all, but jewelry, hairpins, ponytail holders. I use these in the bathroom, but this is a nice powder size too. Mm -hmm. Could be a powder dish, the size of it. So, all right, moving on. Moving on. Now that I maybe get a little bit of a hang in this. <laughs> okay. Well, oh Italian Jersey woman's in at 10. So we'll count it down. For this one? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll let D count it down. It's time to count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Two, one. Okay. Yay. Thank you. Jerry. Is it, was it Jerry? Was it Jerry? Italian Jersey woman. Oh, Italian Jersey woman. Okay. Thank you. I don't remember her name, but Italian, Italian woman. Thank you. <laughs> I'd rather call y'all by what y'all screen name is anyways, because I will forget through time whose name was what all right what is this piece this is um oh so this is uh from costa boda nice very piece. nice piece um you're gonna get this for a song artisan glass piece by coast um sorry yeah costa boda um made in sweden around 19 1990s but i forgot the line that they did this with this is called the um uh days line the days uh days series day series yeah and i do believe this one was considered tuesday whatever this means <laughs> but it's a a body right So it stands, let's see. She wants you to hold it still, Tam. Do you need a smaller one in there? A smaller ruler? Yeah. I don't know. Just leave the ruler down on the felt. This is it's four four inches uh, across and it's anywhere from one and a half one and a half to almost two inches tall. Karen, it's going. One and a quarter. How's the clear glass going? It's going. <laughs> It can be an ashtray. I think it's listed it's a, as an ashtray. It's got a slight little uh, swoop, swoop inside. Yeah, it's got a nice little stylized head on and a face on the top. If you really zoom in in there. If Timmy just zooms that and just gets it closer. Closer. Closer still. I'm there you go. Knock the camera off. Yeah. Uh, the design is by uh, Bertil Valli Vallien, V-A-L-L-I-E-N. It's not a signed piece, but it's it's signature work by this artist. And he's even had some exhibits in museums. I think their signed pieces are uh, stickers. I mean, oh, stickers? It's stickers, normally? not as signed, like etched in Right. There. So he designed, uh, Bertil Vallien uh, designed this for Costa Boda. Hello, Karen Kay. I mean, Karen uh, Chase. <laughs> Karen Chase. But it's very nice. Very nice little chunk of chunk of glass. Artisan glass. And it's nice. You think about the art glass that was early on um, at the turn of the century and then how it still goes on, how like Blinko is still doing it and artists such as this are still doing it. And, you know, glass isn't going away okay so no interest in this one okay nice big chunk of chunk of chunk of chunk of cheese here nice chunk of cheese s and p's okay we have a star, a pair of shakers, Hoosier shakers. 
Hoosier Shakers. Ribbon Hoosier Shakers. So you have the zinc tops, zinc shaker tops. How tall are those, Tim? You, you can just lay it down on there. Yeah, I was changing the color. They're four inches. Okay. See, it's changing the color. Who's your shakers? I like how they have the little clear opening. They yeah, for your label. Label. They have the rib. Um, they're ribbed going downwards, but then they have this lip on it. What is that? To be right underneath the shelf in the Hoosier cabinet or uh -huh. something? Uh-huh. Let me, I'm in, you can see my hands close up as I manipulate the shakers. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Show one up close, Tim. Just your, I wouldn't say run of the mill. I mean, that they're kind of everywhere. However, you can't. Uh, at Round Top, they want thirty bucks for a pair of these. It's crazy. Round Top's getting nuts, but it's still popular. I mean, people are flying in th this week, especially because this week is Antiques Week. Okay, so I no interest in these. We're gonna move on. Yeah, Hoosier Shakers uh is opening up for uh the traveling um ashtrays <laughs> they're first on the ticket the hoosier shakers okay all right next item we have are is the cubic fostoria candy dish mm -hmm. it's a lidded candy dish and this is going to start at Sixteen dollars. Oh, gonna, I guess I could have got the same thing. I'm gonna do this so and yeah. you can do that. So I can know what to pull next. So this start at sixteen, Fostoria. Lidded candy dish. And I brought candy. Ooh. It looks so pretty in there. David didn't see it in here, or he would have been chewing on it. So that the um, American film, not cube. Yeah, it's it's um, yeah. Karen, I tell you, they don't call it cube. Fostoria don't call it cube, but as all of us know it as seeing, you know, that's the nickname for it. I guess you could say. Oh, the pattern. I'm sorry. The pattern. Yeah. Where did I write that nice down? and tall, very pretty. But the stem is squared. It's what do you call it? Octagon or I don't know how many sides this is. Looks like six sides. But nice. You see three on one side and you feel three on the back side. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm getting my fingerprints all over it, but it shines really well. Yes, American. Candy candy, please. This has a lip on it. Doesn't it look pretty with all the colored candy in there? So pretty. <laughs> so pretty. So it's, what is that, nine and a half inches tall? Nine inches. Nine inches tall. To the, to the knobby part. Very pretty piece. Karen says, Fosteria is elegant depression glass. The pattern is American. One of the most popular patterns. It is nice. And it's got all, what do you have in there? Skittles? Skittles. She has a Skittles, y'all. Mm -hmm. Get that. Okay. Okay. Oh, the, yeah, the clarity is nice. 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 Yeah, the, the clarity is nice. 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 Okay. We're going to pass on that. Including the Skittles. The next one is 
nine inches to the knobby part. <laughs> Bonnie got that, Tam Tam. That's all she heard was it's nine inches to the knobby part. The next one, it is starting at seven. Okay, this one starts at seven. New on the banner. This is Fostoria. Very pretty, pretty piece of glass. Yes, it is a single. We Lids in at seven. But I thought, ooh, this, you know, is that sacrilegious if I turn this into a candle, put a candle in there? <laughs> no, just save a bunch of uh, single glasses like we're doing because we like different patterns and different vintage. So our cover's going to be mixed like I have. I do like that idea. Lens in at seven. Yeah, take the candy out. We'll try and do that next time, Karen. Yeah, when what? I put it back no around, way. I'll put it in my back in my little candy dish that I have over there. Jeffrey Reed's in the house. Hello, Jeffrey. So this dish is, I mean, this what is this? A little sherbet dish, David? Um it's five and a, a quarter. A tall sherbet? Tall. Five and a quarter, and the opening is three and a half. Yeah. So what? No way. Any interest in this? You ready to count down? We can count. Uh, yeah, we can count it down for Lynn. And we will let Vinny count this okay, one down. Let's count this down. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and sold. What? No way. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah, you can get, uh, have Delbert make you his dirty martini. And when he makes it, he just uses his dirty finger. <laughs> okay, the next item we have up, um, it's going to start at $8 because there is a chip on it. <coughs> this larger candy dish. So this is a uh, cafe, Tim? Yeah, cafe, what it? Anchor Hawking? Yeah, Anchor Hawking piece, and it's it does have a chip. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find it. It was on the lid. On one of the little points here. Right there. Show that up close. Sideways. No, sideways more. Make it flatter. Like we can see the point. The, where the point is not. There you go. See right here. Right there. See the point here? That point has been knocked off on that one. What? No way. This is a, a lot. Microphone's over here. What? The, this way. It is a larger uh, opening. It's uh, six, six and a half inches across. Holds a lot of cabbage. <laughs> and... To the lid is about three inches high without the handle, without the knob. Here's the bottom. But that was the only flaw to it, a little, um, little one corner there that was nicked off it. So, you know, it's been used and it's been loved. Yeah, it's great that someone's actually using this stuff. And slight, oh, that's all the way back. It looks kind of weird. Looks it? like it's all the way in the bottom. 
Okay. So we'll go to the next item. Okay, no answers in that one. We will have two. Oh, let me put this in here real quick. Next, we have a fruit bowl. Next, we have a fruit bowl, and this is starting at fourteen dollars. It's an Indiana. Indiana glass. What is this two seven? Okay. You have it. Turn it a little bit. Tam Tam, Helen's asking you, why did the squirrel swim on his back? Why did the squirrel swim on his back? So his tail could be the motor? No, the motor boat? to keep his nuts dry. What is... <laughs> <laughs> I love these. I remember my grandma having one of these. The It's footed. And I'm sure y'all y'all have seen these. Y'all have had one. Your, or your grandma's had one too. These look so great with even fake fruit in here. I want to say she had um, that uh -oh. fake. What'd you do? I what happened? You did it. Switch it back. Mm. Why does it do that? What happened, Tim Tim? <laughs> uh, had the fake fruit. I think she had, I don't know if it was plastic or that, because she had wood fruit too. So this is potpourri flowers. Twelve inches across. Make a Barbie jacuzzi. It's Barbie jacuzzi, eight and a half inches uh, wide, and it Barbie is bathtub. Four and a half inches tall. And you can see that design. Helen says she has one of those. It was her grandmother's. Yeah. Condoms. Karen came in with condoms. Italian Jersey woman is in at 14. You could you can even serve your uh Watergate salad or something like that in here. <gasps> Watergate salad. Pudding Fruit cereal? Yeah. Your cereal. Captain Crunch. Do not put cereal in this. I would put cereal in I don't in know it. why that aggravates when you put cereal in huge bowls like Ginger this. snaps. You could put um, your, let's get stupid. You're already doing that. Spaghetti or your postatoes. You could put all your postatoes in there. You say postato. I say postato. You say tomatoes. <laughs> Three bean salad. Exactly. All right. No interest? No, Italian Jersey woman's in at 14. Okay, well, let's start counting it down. Okay, let's Once count, you count it, it down. down. 10, 9, <laughs> 8, that's, 7, that's 6, I was talking about. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I do really like this bow. Do you? Yes. Do you? Do you? I have a large bow on my bar already. Um, Thank you, Italian Jersey woman. Thank you, ma'am. Italian Jersey woman. Good for you. That's wonderful. What is? That she got that piece. That's a smart piece to have uh, for certain things. It, that definitely takes me back to, like, grandma's. <clears throat> Okay, we have two bud vases, so this is choice, $8 choice. My rose is messed up. The rose petal is messed up. The loons. 
the loons. That rose is too high. Ain't it pretty with a bud in it? Buds. With a rose bud? That's right. You can put a rose in there. You can put, uh, what else? Incense if you want. What are you doing, Tam Tam? You can steal and... And you can also, let's see, flowers, incense. Um, mm. I like this. Is this like considered like a swung of some or a stretch? I mean, yeah, they've got to stretch it. Yeah. It's just a smaller piece of glass. That's all. They match. It's not that gi giant glob. Uh, yeah, they they don't exactly match because well, each one's hand long, but yeah, because this similar. one does look a little bit different. And yeah, the things. angles are a little bit different. So let's see. So the, starting at eight, choice. About eight and a half inches tall. Just, oh, this one. Are they exactly, eight Karen? Perfect for one. Mother's Day. Mother-in-law's day, eight and three baby mama's day, three fourths. We have Doris in. Doris is in at eight. So Doris, so, you have the chance to get both or one. That's going to be up to you entirely. You up bring to you. one of those uh, mid-century or you know one of those serving trays with morning breakfast coffee and a single one of these. Yeah, waffles. Waffles, orange juice, a flower, and a, a, the funnies. The funnies. <laughs> the Sunday funnies. You know, you see that in the movies. Never happened to me, though. Never got served. With yeah, because you, have to, you, like you have to make breakfast, Tam. No, I'm supposed to be in bed or... You're always in bed. <laughs> lounging on the couch. Okay, we're going to count it down. Tammy's talking senselessly. <laughs> so we'll count it down. Italian Jersey Woman's at 10. So let's see if we have a new countdown. Yeah, down at the bottom. Oh, at the bottom. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. It's going to be quick, so get your bids in. Man, let's count this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> I don't cook. I cook sometimes. I see Doris in at 11. <laughs> and there's the stop. And Doris won that bid. Doris, would you like the one that's a quarter shorter? <laughs> or both? Look, look, they're standing back to back. See, <laughs> one's a slightly taller than the other. So. The one on the left. Is that your left or my left? Is it the one with the rose in it? Is that that's the left? <laughs> Giant just went sniper, no sniping. <laughs> Is it the one with the rose? With the rose or without the rose? Jeffrey Reed, was that a smurf? <laughs> with the rose. <laughs> okay. Um put it. Thank you, Doris. And then since a Jersey woman also bidded. Italian Jersey woman. Did you want the other one? Hi, Ginger. Hello, Ginger. Italian Jersey one. Do you want the other vase? Put that one in there. And we still have one available. One's available. Ginger said, hello, you two. <laughs> Tammy is here. Come here. There she Hi. Is. <laughs> um, hello, Ginger. Italian Jersey woman. Okay, we'll come back to it. Just let us know. Just let us know if you let want Let us know in the chat. Back. Okay. And 
Oh, Hi, Cindy. Cindy's here. Hi, Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Okay, the next item. Hi, Kathleen. Hello, Kathleen. All right, we have David's famous. He, when he finds these, he always picks them up. What are, where are we at? We are on here. Manhattan, starting oh, at 16. Candles. Manhattan Square candle holders. <laughs> they don't make round ones. <laughs> they don't. Everything's square with them. They make round glasses. These are four and a half inches wide. And they stand one and a half inches tall. Love, love, love these. Love, I think David love, has a love, couple of sets love. of these. No, I only have one that I'm keeping. You have one set? I have one set. Well, when I've I seen find them, them come through here, so they've been going. When I find them, I share them. These are gorgeous. Look how they would pop on that blue. Karen, this is my idea. So when I get that blue mirror glass, that's how I'm going to display my Manhattan with that dark, dark blue background. Look at it pop. It pops. Yeah, you KK. Have, you have Manhattan candlesticks? Those are candlesticks. Oh, okay. I thought the candle actually, I'm thinking like the loose site or whatever. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Those are candlesticks. Yeah. Karen's like, yes. So, Karen, yes. What can you tell us about them since you know these so well? That they're very sturdy. They're gorgeous. They're timeless. Timeless. That design will never, ever, 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 ever to me. I mean, it's, it's so deco. Deco. Deco, yeah. deco, deco. And when did these start? Do you know? Do you know when they started this? And they don't make this stuff no more, do they? Or no, do they? they don't make them okay. anymore. Remember, they had a revival back in the Deco revival, so they reintroduced them in the '80s with uh, Park Avenue. But just gorgeous piece of glass. You can store them away. They're tiny, tiny. You know, they're not tall. They shelf very nice. You can use, oh, if you can find some nice silver, is it silver leaf? The silver leaf um, lucite candles. Oh, yeah. Those, those will look really nice, nice with them. those. Okay. I don't see any interest in those. So we'll go to the next item. So you have a Indiana glass compote starting at 12. Kathleen. Okay. So we have Kathleen in at 16. Oh. Jeffrey's in at 16. I think they just want to see a countdown. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. So Jeffrey reads at 18. So I'll count them down since there's interest. Who's going to count this down? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Is it either one of these? Yeah, there's two different ones. Okay, y'all. Let's do this countdown. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, Jeffrey and and there's a stop so I see well, you see nobody on camera do you <laughs> so I see Jeffrey for those <laughs> Jeffrey's at 18 <laughs> thank you Jeffrey and thank you uh Kathleen for bidding these are yours Jeffrey Jeffrey weren't weren't you looking for a Manhattan compo we got that coming tonight too or was it Jeffrey I could be wrong well, you didn't outbid, outbid yourself because uh, Kathleen was first at 16. So, yeah, you came in second at 16. So you got him at 18. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And then the next, let's see, Indiana. We have an Indiana compote. So this one's Indiana glass. 
I should pour all my candy in it. Whoa. Indiana glass. Let's see what this stands. Uh, seven and a quarter tall. Right? Yeah. Seven and a quarter tall. She almost took my eye out with that ruler. <laughs> the opening is... Uh, These are gorgeous, Jeffrey. I love them. Six inches across, but it's wider than that. And I'm drinking out of my Manhattan. It's about seven inches wide, but the opening is only six and a half, six inches wide. Um, what is this diamond point? What? What are you doing? It's a diamond pattern. I need to hear you either reading or you telling me what this was. What I have yeah. on this? This a diamond point. Guess <laughs> a candy holder. I mean, a candle. <laughs> a candy holder? dish. Candy dish is what I gathered that it was, but yes, you could put a, a one of those fat pillar candles in here and put some potpourri around potpourri. it. Potpourri. That would look pretty, or some you know greenery or something in the inside. Or of ice cream. In the center. Yes, you could put you some fancy ice cream, Sunday ice cream in here. Hold it still, Scott. <laughs> I like this part. Very nice piece of sturdy glass. No chips or cracks. Little pokey diamonds on here. Just a nice piece of clear glass. So, what can we do? Definitely it's candy. That holds a lot more candy than even the Faustoria over there does. This is a bigger... I guess a little... Uh, I guess a little bit of, he heard what? What did he hear? I don't know what Scott heard. I don't even know what I said. <laughs> Tell him to eat his postados. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is starting at 12. And does it? this has a little bit of a tinge. Does it look a little tinge yellow or is it the light? Uh, it might be the light, but it's a nice piece of pressed glass. Yes. Okay. Oh, J Jeffrey Reed is allowed to some libation. Oh, yeah. Oh, a margarita glass. You could do that. Oh, yes. There you go, Mary. Like a lot of people <laughs> are using Manhattan compotes for margarita gla martini glasses. And that one does seem like it. I, I agree with that. I'd be using it as uh, a martini. This would hold definitely more, though, compared to this candy dish that they claim to be a candy dish. See yeah. the difference? <laughs> yeah. Okay. This even fits inside of there. We will go to the next item. So this is definitely more of a drink coder. <laughs> what is the next item? Let's see. It's the boobies. 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 Bobesh. Boobies. Boobies. Bobesh. Bobesh. There's four of these, Tim? There are four. Now, hmm. Show one up close, Tim, Tim. Uh, you're saying these are Cambridge? I think they were, they were on for Cambridge candle holders, if I remember. Because these come in like Cambridge only holds a certain size, correct? Right. Oh, well, the yeah. These are glass, mm -hmm. not plastic. Glass, four and a half inches across. The and they have a little lip on them here. You can get your. They hold prisms, but and it's six of them. Two, four. Wait, is it? So four and, four and a half inches eight, across, eight, and then the two and two and three thirds is the what? Is the the outer circle? Two and a half. Maybe it's two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Outer circle. Those are Cambridge, six, yes. That would sit in the dish. Right. So each one holds six prisms if eight. you have them. Eight. Two, four, six, eight. Yes. Okay, six prisms. Eight. Prism. Oh, eight. And oh, ready on. ready to hang if you have those. It has the little hooks yeah. on there. 
Now, these can be very pricey without the prisms, even. And you're going to get the set of four. Right. But what are they, wax catchers? Made with and without lids. Karen would know about these. Very Karen says you can find prisms online in clear and in colors. I would prefer the clear. I think that would bounce more light. Or, but actually, if you can find, if you have a nice little green collection mm -hmm. and hang some green ones off of that, that would look nice. Or just change different color depending on um, the season. If you can find like an ice blue for winter. KP says Scott's lost his voice and now Jeffrey Reed's doing his talking. <laughs> That's called a puppet, a marionette. Okay, so there's four of these and we will count it down. Like I said, these are glass. So clink, clink. You always like to clink, clink. Clink, clink. I don't see a bid. Okay. So we'll bring these back later. Okay. The next item is a fairy lamp. Is a fairy lamp. What? No way. Fairy lamps. What? No way. That's not what you're supposed to be putting on there. I know. You hush. Because every show needs a fairy lamp. <laughs> Is shine bright. <laughs> I don't have the Light, That's light. wrong. What are you trying to find? The light, this icon's wrong. Anyway. Okay, so this is the Home Co. Home Co. Fairy lamp. Uh, Cubics. Home Co. Cubics fairy lamp. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't want to put a candle in here, if you don't want to put potpourri in here, if you don't want to put your black jelly beans in here, you can put tissue paper in here. And put a or put a puck light in. That, that's you don't have to worry about the a puck light leaving it and burning. And you can change the colors with the puck light. That is one thing about the clear fairy lamp. You can make it any color you want. Karen says, I was just going to ask for that video. Which would be a, every cell needs a fairy lamp? I think so. And these are common. They are common ones. What? No way. How common? How I mean, I don't see them all the time. I had like five of them at one time. Yeah, but that's because we bought, we went to one place and there's like four of them. So you just, yeah. you got to pick and them this up. Is, this is my last one because I, like I said, I'm bringing all the clear glass that I have. Right. Um, so this is the last one in this saw that I have. But I love the idea of putting puck lights in here. You can change it to whatever color you want. It looks like the Crystal Death Star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Karen says cube is Jeanette glass. This is another name. Wasn't it cubic, though? Yeah. Home Co. Cubic, not cube. Oh, now, see, if it's not written down, I don't know. Uh, um, right there, give me that paper. Right there. I, have, uh, I have puck lights uh, that display my Manhattan. They backlight my Manhattan. And it just they the light just shines up and it pops. Okay, let's Indiana. count it down for Doris. Indian Indiana Glass made it made it for Home Co. 
um, it wasn't Whitehall, right? We decided. Delbert says, clear glass is my favorite. He's all about the transparency. <laughs> all right, we'll do a countdown. Okay. Karen says she sent you info, Tam. Ugh. Oh, yeah. It's on my phone, and I'm using my phone now. Yeah, she's using her phone. She can't do it right now. <laughs> that this, this is on my phone. Okay, I'm going to count this down. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so And is Doris Stallings going to take that? Thank you, Doris. Doris Stalling. Home Interior started to sell Home Co. in the 90s. <laughs> okay, well, we'll stick with them. Um, a uh, another home interior fairy lamp. We doing that one again? Yeah. Cause every show needs a fairy lamp. Okay. None of my pup lights work. Okay, I might I might do, but. This one's starting at 10 as well, right? I know. This one is. Yes? This one's 15. Oh. So this is a, a Indiana glass sofa home co. It's the, uh, okay, wait, there's stars and bars and moon and stars. This is the stars and bars. Stars and bars. Jeffrey said, he told Scott, we said, hi, we are. On a break as the cookie dough is chilling. Oh, y'all making cookies? <laughs> Gingerbread cookies? So these are nice uh, as well with different lights, different colors because it's clear. I have a blue. The blue one like the. Two, do you have, two you have a ones? blue moon and stars? Moon and stars? Do you have. No, they didn't make blue in this. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think they made blue in this color. Or did they? Yes, they did. Maybe I have a stars. I'm not sure. You might have them both. No, I don't have both. Okay. I only have one. Bought it in Galveston. In the strand. Right, right. I remember that one. I don't remember which. Ooh, a tissue. Is. The, the lid is heavy enough on this one. You can use it for tissues as well. No chips or tick bites on this, right? No. Yeah, no. There's no casualties with this one, Pee Wee. They made amber, yes. Amber is very popular. Actually, we run it. We run into the amber more than we do the clear. Actually, I actually have a box um, for this, but it says ruby on it, and I will put the box with it if you're if you're interested in it. But it says ruby on the outside, not clear. Right. It says ruby. Pee Wee's in at 15. Thank you, Pee Wee. I have a box that I picked up by itself. But it says Ruby on the outside. And the box is in great shape. I don't remember where I found this, but I've been holding on to it. And this is my last Indiana glass. Well, yeah. So... If you want the box with it, I'll throw that in with it. Okay. So we're having some bids, so we'll count it down. Make sure you're bidding like you mean it because we we're, have some bids here. So, Man, let's count this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. 
and that goes to oh put the comments back up here peewee at 19. i'm double checking i did a refresh kp do, 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 do. I got KP at 20 before the stop. There you go. Thank you, Pee Wee, for bidding. Thank you. KP, KP you got this that is at yours. 20. Would you like the box with it? It'll give it more uh, padding when I ship it. Would you like the box? Give her the box. Give her the box. Even though it says Ruby on it. Karen says, that's what nightmares are made of, Davis. <laughs> Yes, the box. Very well. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Well, yeah, that over yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. One more fairy lamp. And all the fairy lamps are... One okay. more fairy lamp in all the kingdom. Because every show needs a fairy lamp. <laughs> This one set starts at 10. It is also a home co. Home yeah, co. Home co. Hello, Minnie. Now, this one's a little different. Hi, Minnie. Fairy lamp. It is, um, they call this the globe. The globe. Uh, no, they just Karen says, when I grow up, I want to be a fairy lamp. <laughs> What well, thank you, Minnie. So this one just has uh, lines going down it and the, like crisscrosses in here. A little more clearer than the cubics. I say clearer, you know, no obstruction. It looks like a wheel. Italian Jersey woman says she has this one and it's gorgeous. But re you repurpose it. You don't have to necessarily put a oh, light in there. That's right. Kleenexes. I see. Yeah, so that's a, what I said, a tissue. I thought you, you know, when you said tissue, I thought you meant like tissue paper that you put in packages. No, I totally man, forgot about I'm the talking Kleenex. Kleenex yeah. is a brand of facial tissue. <laughs> you said tissue. I, I was thinking tissue in no, a package. No, you can. You can. So I, I, I don't know if I did a video on it, but. You can. Do this with your tissue, facial tissue. Pull it out of your fairy lamp. And Lynn, 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 I need you to send me. Um, she says she made a comment earlier that when it clears, she'll she'll get it done. I really need to need that done before the end of the show, since you bid it again. But uh, this is, I like this one. This is, these, these would look nice together. The, all three of those sitting together look really nice. KK's in at 10. This one does say home coat on the bottom as well. I just noticed that. Home. ET phone home. I do like the design of this phone one. home. Yeah, what type of cookies are y'all baking? <laughs> okay, we'll count it down for KK. Who's counting down? It's time to count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you, Karen K. And That's Karen yours. That one? Yeah. Thank you, Karen. You're a different pen. Karen K. Thank you, thank you. 
All right. I'm You're glad y'all love the fairy lamps. And these are going somewhere. They're so pretty. Old school, but so pretty. All right. Here we have. Tells me nothing. This massive. Oh, this is starting at 24. Thank you. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully that's one you don't have. She has a nice collection of fairy lamps. Oh, I want to see a picture of that. I want to see you post that on Instagram. Well, you know, so she's been getting a, a, a lot from us. I haven't seen the collection together. They're always so pretty. I mean, you might not be like me and put all the fairy lamps together. Like I'll put all my swung bases together. All the fairy lamps are sitting together. <laughs> so this is French glass. It's crystal, crystal d'arc. It's a nine by five, if if the notes are correct. Nine yes. by five. Yes. This is starting at 24. It's got a nice cool swirl. So the glass starts at a base and it has like a little twist. Twist going upwards. Is that too close? There. Show the bottom and maybe it shows that spin pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see where it spins? Has that twist. It's heavy. going clockwise. It's a nice thick piece of glass. Yeah, it does it's resemble that. Um, wider here. It stays thinner through there. And it swoops down from corner to corner, swoops down slightly. This is like the ultimate cereal bowl. <laughs> the ultimate. Ambrosia salad will look so pretty in that, says Catwall. <laughs> that is a pretty piece of glass. So, and it's really thick. What is a jello mold? A jello mold. Karen K says, uh, Tammy KP, I have my Three fairy lamps all over. All I will take pics and make a collage for y'all. Okay, there you go. She's been slacking on IG pics again. <laughs> Ice cream sundae for that bowl. Yep. Oh, my God. I can barely finish a, a regular one in a bowl. Yes. Very fine department store glass. Scoot it back over to him, or you turned your thing, your camera. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tim Tim. But I'll, I like the twist pattern it has. There's a lot going on with the glass. So it's interesting to look at. And very thick. If you look at the edge from yeah, the top. It's a quarter. Quarter of an inch. Yeah. To that. Oh, three quarters of an inch. Three quarters. So almost a whole inch in thickness. Minnie's at 24. Very, very wide. Pee Wee says, very... my favorite fairy lamp is my signed Don Fenton Uranium. Glows like wow, Lily of the Valley. Oh, nice. Glows like wow. I like that term. <laughs> Send us a picture. I want to see. Pee Wee, are you on Instagram? The, he, oh, well, Pee Wee can email. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll count this bowl down. You never know who's going to count it down. Do, 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 do. Hey, you guys, let's do the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> We're so embarrassing. <laughs> Mom, stop taking pictures of me. Okay, we have 66 watching and 48 thumbs up. All right, Minnie, that one's yours. Minnie, You're that's love yours. This Congratulations, piece. Minnie. It is a very beautiful piece. 51 thumbs up now. Thank you. Awesome. Karen said, Lord, help us all. Oh, this is going to be fun packing all this glass. Yeah, it's going to be real fun. Yes, yeah, real fun. I'm going to have so much fun. <laughs> whatever whatever Minnie says those countdowns are great 
Okay. I can do a verbal guess who cele which celebrity countdown instead of a video. You can do that. Oh, oh yeah. I can show you it can from do my phone. Your verbal. Wait, you're going to have a, um, a celebrity do a countdown? Yeah, but I I have to show it on my phone since it's not here. You have celebrity countdowns? Who does that? Anyway, okay, you're, you're not clear on the concept. What do we have next? These are three and a half. I just did those. You did these? Yes. Oh well, then why didn't you mark it? Because I didn't oh, have you time. Did. Okay. Well, I'm going down the list. Okay, we have a old school. Um, so Skyline and I had dinner at or lunch at the Avalon Is Diner. Whoa. This is starting at, this is a single glass shelf riser. Why is no one ready? Is this what we're doing? Yes. Ooh, Pull it up some. Can't see it. Yeah, there you go. So this is a nice uh, drugstore shelf riser. It's a single one. I have a set of four. For himself. For myself. I'm going to, when I, when I have the room. Give me those flowers. When I have the room, I'm going to display my Manhattan with those. You can use this as a vase. This is a shelf riser, though. Thank you, Karen. Thanks for yelling at me. Yeah, it's got it. Okay, okay, show it. I didn't know you. We've all, but that's how it was bought. Good. I'm glad it wasn't me. Okay, let me show you the. You glad it wasn't what? I thought I didn't know it was there. Yeah, this one has. This is very old glass pressed. Uh, Tammy's showing about a thumb, well, my thumbnail size chunk out of the top. But like Karen says, you can display a hat on here. Cover that covers right up. It's long, but it's not a chunk in. I mean, it's not very deep. But it's, but it's flat for the riser to hold a shelf on top or on the top. And then a little bitty neck right there. And you can turn it over either way to be a like a hat display. Or even as a vase, it works well. I have a set of four. I got a, a set of uh, four matching ones. And I know where there are four more that I need to go pick up. But I, when I'm in the area, I'll get them. I'm not going to make a special trip to get them. Because I don't think they're going anywhere. They're like buried in this antique mall. that, that they're, they're all collecting dust. So I know no one's really interested in those so it's got a, but it's a nice old piece of glass there's raised ribbed lines going what do you call that what would you call these yeah karen you know, like karen has had one on in front of her mantle i believe and she just said she got flowers recently and she put them in her shelf riser and it took them to another level <laughs> <laughs> So look, it's rising a plate. Oh, Tam Tam. <laughs> now you're on your super. But it blue. shows it shows the flatness. Yeah. How tall is that one? We have to I'm interested to see twelve where inches. David, yeah, where David's gonna put his. I'm gonna put them wherever you don't have stuff, Tim. Oh well, again, where are you gonna put it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm if I have if I get to have my own office, I'll may have to put them in there i don't know but if i get to have my own office it's going to be like a club style inside so those will look great with a blue background okay no interest in that we'll go to the next item And these are going to be the Pyrex beakers. 
Pyrex beakers. Yeah. This. Now we're gonna. You get a pair, and I'll show you. I'll show you the pair. And there's a difference in these. And. We have two of these. There's a set of three, but these are the two that are identical. Okay. Two sets of these starting at 19. So you're going to, we have three sets of these. You can, so one beaker and one um, um. flask, a filter flask. So Tammy's holding the filter flask and then you have the beaker. And these make nice little displays as well. Nice little fun vases. Or if you're starting a plant, something like that. Um, the, the flask is seven and a half inches tall. The beaker is five inches tall. Right. And the only one we have, uh, we have two of the set like Tammy's showing. And then the one I'm showing here, this has, this, this one flask has uh, the connection where you put... Um, a hose to or, or a line so and they all three come with one of these and there's two like this and then the only one different that is the one he's holding right so robert's yeah, in at 19 and there's going to be choice you you can have a pair or you can have all three pairs it's up to you if you want to get or if you want to share with another bidder that's fine as well um, but these start at 19. Robert's in at 19. So there's another step there. And what I do with the other over here. <laughs> and they're all the same size. Here you go. Except for this one that has. Yeah, you can make a nice little display, Halloween display if you want. A very unique, <laughs> be cute on a bar cart, yeah. Where you mix your own drinks. Karen says she uses beakers like this in her camera collection. Oh. Mm hmm For your uh, Thomas Dolby Mad Scientist display. <laughs> she blinded me with science! <laughs> okay, Robert's in. We'll count it down for Robert. And let me get a countdown going. I have to turn on the fan. It feels warm in here. What you doing? I'm getting this done. Nine, eight, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. <laughs> that one you're speaking of. Yeah, I couldn't get that one loaded yet. Okay, Robert. Let us know if you want one two, two or, three. or all three sets and um do Make you want do you want the flask with the hose connection or without just say with or without with or without Oh, nice. Scott locked himself in the bathroom. I'm currently scrolling through my phone trying to find a local locksmith. Nice. Really? He didn't have a key. <clears throat> uh, Robert's going to take all three. Thank you, oh, Robert. Thank you, Robert. Uh, he's just trying to get away from you. You know that, right? <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey, why have you worn thank out you your Robert. welcome? Why have you worn out your welcome so fast? <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> That's so funny. These are fun, Robert. These are nice display pieces. Very like, nice. Yeah, I like to see how y'all display those. Me, 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 me. Maybe he's going to actually mix his liquor. Me, 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 me. No, I'm doing? No. Beaker from the Muppets. Oh. Okay. The next item we have, this is starting at. Is this this one? The Opal Essence ones? Let me circle that. Alrighty. Starting at 13. I believe these to be Anchor Hawking. Yes. Moonstone. It's a cream and sugar. Tammy has them on the velvet, on the blue velvet carpet. Starting at 13. Any metal flour sugar containers with good lid still? I prefer glass, but I think finding these are hard, hard to find. Yeah. Yeah, not just the metal the metal flower sugar containers. What like what year? Like the MCM metal peewee? It's not so much the lids, it's whether they're dented or not, right? Or oh. faded, like what it says flour and sugar on them. Oh. Metal the metal containers. Oh, those? Uh, like uh, the they're Google? MCM. I don't I'm not sure. Janine's at 13. Thank you, Janine. Yes, please. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll keep a lookout. There's a ton of them in Round Top right now. Uh, if you want, if we run into them, I mean, I mean, the problem is Round Top is marked up a lot. You're you're more likely to find them out in the wild at better Sometimes prices. Sometimes we find them at our favorite honey home. Yeah, every now and then we'll find them. So. So these are opal essence, uh, right? Opal essence at the top. Yeah. Now Fenton, these were we decided these weren't Fenton, but they uh, Fenton calls this a hobnail, and uh, Anchor, Anchor Hawking, Hawking calls, Moonstone. Them, calls them moonstones because they're from the moon. Large matching, little rust or no rust, sure. I see Scott jumping up and down saying, Jeffrey, tell them I'm not in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're ready? Yeah, we'll count it down. Let's see. Who am I picking? Man, let's count this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. My, what big eyes I have. <laughs> okay. And those go to Janine Anderson. Janine Anderson for thirteen dollars. Thank you, Janine. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. All right. Tam, Tam, you kiss those lips. <laughs> <laughs> you think I do? <laughs> I hate how this. Why does this start off yellow? Must be the light up there. So this is a nice glass reamer, juice reamer. This is starting at twelve. What is your size? It is a a six, six across. So this is one of your larger reamers, six inches across. I got the brand of this. I price one. those little juice cups. Did you notice that? Yeah, I okay. so. Okay. Uh, that just reminded me of that. I don't know 
what brand this one is. Uh, I don't either, but a lot of people made them. So yeah. But this is the larger one. I've had smaller ones. Mm -hmm. This is a nice big one. Now, certain patterns you kind of know, like the crisscross and those. Wee, 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 wee. Yeah. Just. And if you're not reaming anything, you can put. If you're watching watching the ball game, you can throw a little pretzels in there or something. <laughs> Let's use our reamer to hold our pretzels. <laughs> Minnie's in at 12. The pick. Pee Wee just sent a pick. Let's see. This has, it has ridges. Ribbed. The ruffles rib. have ridges. I think this one's a nice one. I should have had David make me some fresh orange juice or lemonade. Yeah. Let him sit there and ream it. <laughs> I'm having to dig through email, so hold on one second. Repurpose your vintage. A bunt peanut butter. All right, so nobody else interested. We're going to start counting this down. Why Burnt peanuts. Crushed peanut brittle. I don't have my glasses on. I can't even see. Hey, you guys. Let's do the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> we love making fools of ourselves. <laughs> And waiting on the stop. There's a stop. Minnie, you're going to get that. Thank you, Minnie. Thank you, Minnie. Thank you, Minnie. Minnie, thanks, Minnie. <laughs> the next item we have is a tulip vase starting at 16. This is, you can throw those away if they go. I don't know if they do or not. <laughs> Why? How do you not know? So, oh, this is pretty. This is shape of a tulip. I love this little vase. It's a candle holder, isn't it? Yes, it holds a candle. It's a, a ca candle single there. candle holder. You starting can put a puck at sixteen. Light in here too. I think the puck light or fairy light. KP's in at sixteen. Uh, right. Let me feel. It's pressed. It's pressed. Yeah. It's pressed. It's Gorgeous. And can y'all see that very well? Let's see. I need something. Where's my little paper um, pack? I want. I want to white. Doesn't white work better to show that? How and tall is that? This is seven inches tall. So it has little tulips in there. It holds this um, small candle. What do you need? Say it all out. I have a pack of paper. I have packs of paper, the square paper. This? So I can tear off a clear, yeah. A paper pad. Paper pad. Let's see if that shows it better. So you got little tulips in it, and the, the um, top of it is scalloped. Karen said, hit it with your ring. She thought this was crystal. What does that sound like? Hope I didn't break a diamond out of there. <laughs> but I like how it holds the candle in the center like that. I got a little black candle in there. But you can still put little fairy lights in there or a one of those little puck lights, even, but that's pretty. Little short uh, miniature candles. This is a very pretty piece. Mm -hmm. I like how, I like how the actual flower is dominant than the foot. 
Oh yeah, this. Mm -hmm. That'll so, make a nice display too, with even if it's a single candle, or heck, just put potpourri in there or something, something scented. Yeah, if you want. Be like four and a quarter wide. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll count it out for KP. Now, I'm not, it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. I don't know how you really tell if it's crystal for sure. Because I always think everything's crystal. And I've been told, no, it's not crystal. It's glass. Maybe because of where I bought it. Could be crystal. Yeah. So, yeah, where Dave, David picked this up and it's, um, they have a lot of nice, nice items. It wasn't. That place is not my favorite place to shop because they're pricey there. They are the two chaps of resale stores. And KP got that? KP got that. Thank you, KP. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Ping okay. it. She said ping it. I pinged, ain't it? Ain't, ain't that what I did? Ping? <laughs> with, my, with my ring? Thank you very much. We haven't glass. done that one in a long time. It's glass. How can you tell? It's not painting. Oh, with your finger instead yeah. of doing it with the ring? The crystal will ring. It'll have a ring to it. Where is this? Oh, the... Um... You're welcome, KP. Yay. Okay, the next one is starting at, we're moving right along. Moving right along. What is this? This? This is a candy dish. A, a worn, it's a, India, it's made by Indiana Glass. Uh, but, button and cane pattern. Butts and canes, y'all. Butts and canes. Butts and canes. We have this butts and cane pattern candy dish. And it's a big one. I think Indiana Glass made this. Did uh -huh. you say that, Tim? Yes. And it's a nice size dish. Seven and a half inches wide. That's a lot of dish. And it's um That's a lot of two glass. Two and a half inches tall. Now it goes. Now it has down. a very shallow shield shield like um top now if cover I gave, if i gave this to david right now he'd be trying to put it on his head no i wouldn't what um, i would do though is yeah he would y'all know he would liar <laughs> timmy's such a liar i don't like it when timmy makes fun of me <laughs> that's why i'm over here away from him it looks like a flying saucer you make me drink. Drink like this is a clear nice blinko, like, y'all. Uh, trinket dish. Nice large. Large. It's large. And I have a smaller one coming up that's going to be matching it. Many likes it at $14. How do y'all like the clear glass cam? That's what we should have named it, the clear glass cam. What is it called? Tammy. Oh, I had to change it for something else then. <laughs> I could change it, I guess. There's a, a small little trinket dish that's coming up that matches it. This will be coming up. And it's just a little small one that you sit on your bedside or your bathroom uh, sink or something. Or heck, you could sit it right next to this. That's right. You could. But I like the fact that they were matching. I ran across that later that I had sitting, hiding away. Right. <laughs> okay. We have many in. 
Yeah, Minnie's in at 14. There it is, the clear glass cam. <laughs> okay, well, let's start. That's right, Pee Wee, a.k.a. the condom holder. <laughs> let's start a countdown. Benny? Okay, let's count this down. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Next one, the top card goes. Okay, that's yours, Minnie. Yay. Now we'll do the accompanying piece. Thank you, Minnie. Do that you want one. me to do that? Go ahead and do that one. We'll stick with a button and chain pattern. Then we'll, this starts at, let me find it, $6. Yeah. This is starting at six. You need to show that one way up close. There you go. Nice button and cane. Matching pattern of the last dish. It is five by three and a half. Five by three and a half. Little oval piece. Very pretty. Deep. It's deep for a little dish. What? Almost two inches deep. One and a half. Yep, one and a half. Kathleen's in at six. Carol, you're just late on the six. Pee Wee's at eight. One and a quarter, probably because of the base. Right. Carol's in at ten, and it shows. Notice how the light is just bouncing off of that. That can fit all the promises you don't intend to keep. Carol is out. Thank you, Carol, for bidding. And the bidding is slowed down, so we'll count it down. We'll do a fast countdown. And that will be... Man, let's count this down. Ten... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to refresh my feed. Give me a moment. And Kathleen Workman at $12. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, thank you. Pee Wee got distracted. Nope. You got you to gotta ignore the shiny objects. <laughs> he was checking out my blue hat. <laughs> now, we had a set, of the, a set of four of these a couple of shows back. And now I have two more of the modern clear, tone, clear modern tone uh, coffee cup cups. And there's just two. And this is starting at ten. I thought these were Manhattan the last time we brought them. No, because of the lines. I no. forgot. I forgot. No. So you get to. That's like saying the Germans bomb Pearl Harbor. Hello, hi, Deb. Debs. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. We're two and a half hours in. This is like for espresso, so you know, because there's a smaller size of a coffee cup. They're four inches wide, and. Two and a half inches deep. 
Modern tone is a nice, simple, and elegant pattern. I like the cobalt modern tone, but this is this is gorgeous. Pee Wee, I thought you were saying hold my watch like guys say hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. Hold my watch. That's so funny. Okay, so two pieces of modern tone. No saucers. Ooh, thunder. We have thunder? KP says they got thunder. Oh. I was like, I didn't hear it. Oh, no, it's gorgeous outside today. Today was absolutely nice. It was even chilly. Yeah, we really got chilly. some rain. Some areas got rain, but we need the rain. I don't want to start late spring and summer with a drought, so. Karen Williams is currently eating ice cream out of her modern tone cream soup. She's got the blue one, the okay. blue modern tones. Well, okay, no interest in these? No interest in this one. Okay, we'll set these aside. Okay. Let's see. The next item is we'll stick with Manhattan. We have a compote. So Manhattan compote. Now, if I'm correct, the Park Avenue compotes were round. So this shows you that this is Manhattan. What do you mean round? This is round. No, no, no. That it was more like. Oh, like, a rounded. Oh. Right. Almost like a sherbet, like a, a cup sherbet. This is five inches tall. So you have your uh, Manhattan compote. Um, you know, when a lot of people I've seen in the thrift stores, they get a set of four, they get a set of four because someone's been collecting them, using them as martini glasses. And I always find them in the bar section. They're in the barware section because people use these as martinis. When it's actually what? A compote. Compote for what? What's a compote for? You can hold candies. I don't know, mayonnaise, a dressing, Give me that blue nuts, beer nuts, a what? This? So you put that on your coffee table? Yeah. You better clean this out, little woman. <laughs> Hold my jewelry. Helen, girl, you're taking off your earrings? Yes. She's ready to rumble. Jelly. Yeah. Caviar. I'm sorry. I would use this as a drinking glass. David does have some. How many do you have? Two. I like the... This is... Olives. What is this? Uh, like... Um, what do you call it when there's rings stacked on top of each other? Mr. T? <laughs> yeah. And it's, I was trying to say it earlier, but he was still talking five and a half. Yeah, five and a half inches of an opening. So, ooh, KP's getting some good lightning, shaking the house. If KP's getting it, is Karen getting it? Maybe. <laughs> Karen, you getting thunder? Oh, David that's what she got thunder. yesterday afternoon, she said. David loves thunder. Okay. No interest in this one? Okay. We will. Put it with your other one. So when we have a party, we can drink martinis out of them, David. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because David loves drinking martini out of them. I don't make martinis. I know. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a vodka guy. You know, I'm drinking vodka tonight. Yeah, I was going to say. You know what? What would that taste like? All right, here's my smallest candy dish of the night. I think it's a candy dish, powder dish. Drink it Keep your phone charged, KP. It is six inches across. And it stands at one and three-fourths tall. This is Avon. And this is an Avon piece. It does. This is Avon Helen. Yep. Good guess.
still yet a pretty piece. I don't, do they still make this kind of pretty stuff on Avon? I haven't seen an Avon book in forever, but they are still around. This is rivet. It could have been a powder dish, right? If it was from Avon. I mean, it's a little bit bigger than your normal powder, you know, for your little powder puff thing. I like the little knob on there. It's very ornate top. Mm hmm That's pretty. So that's the smallest one of the candy dishes tonight. Mm hmm so this one's starting at 10. Cotton balls. Yep. Yep, there you go. This would be a good bathroom piece. Rolos. Rolos. Mike and Ike. Fruit roll ups. Italian Jersey woman is in at 11. Okay. Well, Q-tips? Q-tips. Yeah, the Q-tips would definitely fit. There's a Q-tips are about that big and there's still plenty of room. It's just a loud. So you have a storm that has more bark than bite. Okay, we'll count it down. He's afraid of the barks and the bites. He don't, it doesn't matter. Sure. <laughs> No one asked you. It's time to count it down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, D. <laughs> Okay, Italian Jersey woman, that's yours. Yay. Thank you for bidding on that. Um, the sugar and creamer. It is. Next is a sugar and creamer Indiana glass sandwich pattern. Sugar and creamer. These are very generous size. Yeah, this is one of the bigger. Just for a comparison, brands. look, show that one. No, well, maybe the same. A little bigger. Yeah, it's a little bigger. A little bigger than. This one's gonna hold the more definitely. They are mm, three and a quarter wide and stand three inches tall and it's the sandwich glass the clear you could karen karen says how about using covered dishes for ice cream to keep the pets from eating when you step away. But I personally never step away from ice cream. So <laughs> I don't know if I would do that or not. You feel this. You can feel the. Oh, the pattern. Yeah. Yeah. The little bumps as well. Too bad the sugar bowl doesn't have a lid. Do they do they come with lids? I don't. I've never seen one with a lid, but I don't know. They could have came with one. What else could you do with these? Because I know we don't use sugar and creamers too much anymore. I pour my creamer straight from the. Uh, from the fridge. Yeah. What is it? What's the maker? Um, coffee mate. Coffee mate. Straight from the coffee mate container. Mr. Al, aren't you? Um, Barely. Almost. I'm fixing to be. I'll, I'll get some tonight. Okay, no interest in this one. 
Go to the next item. Okay. Pass in on those. Single snack tray. Oh. All right. We need some ideas for this. It was cute. It was by itself. It was lonely, and I had to save it. I'm trying to take off my little sticker here. This little snack tray. It is <laughs> 10 by... Karen eight. says, I use a sugar and creamer. I'm not a heathen. <laughs> And this is the side you put your cup on. And look, y'all, this has, this has got to tell its age, really. A little dibbit. Trader Joe's. For an ashtray. That is for an ashtray. This is a Hazel Atlas snack tray. And it has a smoker section right here. <laughs> now, yeah, I don't know how much we use snack trays anymore for our little parties. It's the bubble glass, the little bubbles, the bubble, you know. Um, oh, I'm rubbing this and you can't even see it. Little bubble uh, design on the handles. I could see this being also a dresser tray. You know, putting your bracelets, necklaces here, rings and earrings, you know, a little divider dish like that. This would make a cute little dresser tray your uh, brooches in here <laughs> cindy you throwing shade at karen so karen mentioned earlier that she uses a creamer and sugar she's not a heathen and cindy told her but box wine ha ha <laughs> and good one <laughs> KP says, Cindy, yes. <laughs> Cindy, I drink that box wine from a 125-year-old glass. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that girl's got comebacks, though. <laughs> That's fine. Trying to get my wine glass. Hmm. But we got to think of new upcycles to keep using the vintage. Do not throw it out y'all bring back the clear glass bring it back let's use it Kate and Pete, make it beautiful again he says that's nice for a little summertime barbecue service tray mm -hmm. I know it's a single but we we can do something with this we can single. make use out of this well, like Tam Tam says, singles turn into doubles, and sometimes doubles turn into a collection. <laughs> Once mm. she finds a third one. Okay, no interest in this? I'm no, no interest in that. Set that aside. It's cute. It's, I, I always love those trays. They have so many of them, and I always see them in thrift stores, and they just sit there. Okay, we have a very nice decanter. Is that snakes? Mm hmm This is starting at 30. David's like, why don't we use this? Let's use this until we sell it. I'm like, we got two decanters up there right now that you don't even use. Well, have this one. Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. But this one's prettier. This MCM? one's bigger. They're yeah. MCM? They're, I don't know if they're really. They're the 90 ones? Yeah. No, no. I don't even know why we have those then. Yeah, I need to I need to replace it with the nicer ones. Okay. This is all glass that crackle. Crackle glass. It look it's hand blown. Is this hand blown? Look at that pontal. It's deep in there too. Yeah, it's polished off. So that's the bottom. Very pretty. The top is glass. David, I was in here and David's like, is that plastic or what? No, it's glass. It's uh, frosted. And then the inside, it's a little, on the inside, it's a little frosted. Or either been used so much going in and out. No, it's not rubber. It's glass. Yeah, it's glass. It's Kiwi's just, in at 30. It's just a frosted piece. And look at the top. Love that top. So the decanter by itself is 
what is that, 11 inches tall. Once the lid gets put on, it is 16 and a quarter. 16 and a quarter. There you go. But that is glass. And I like, I love this part. The little ribs. And how, how wide is the base of it? I don't turn my nose up. I love this MCM pattern for the decanters. Six, six inches across. Heck, I love Blinko. I love the MCM more. So I'm going to find an earlier design Blinko, which is why I have um, printed out the first the first three years of the the first 350s catalogs of the Blinko. Because when I find one of those, I'm getting one at a decent price. Oh, nice, Pee Wee. Very pretty piece for my bar with the Japanese bar service set, which is sitting inside a red glass cocktail shaker. Oh. Oh, non-MCM, right. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's count this down for Pee Wee. Here we go. Okay, y'all, let's do this countdown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, get them in, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's what? Okay. All right. Congratulations, Pee Wee. Thank you, Pee Wee. That was a good gift. David wanted to put that on our back bar. And that was it's going to a great home. And he's going to use it. That's what I like that y'all actually use this stuff. Mm -hmm. Did that? Oh, no, they didn't. What is that? That didn't sell, right? What is mm. that? The candy dish. Yeah. Who did that go to? I did it. Yeah, that'd be down there on the end. On the end? Uh huh. Oh, Minnie got that one. I didn't write Minnie's name down. All right. Okay, here we have. Let's see. Where are we? Um, what does this do with that? The glasses? These? Yeah. Here they go. Yeah, starting at 24. These are. Oh, how do you say that name again? This is the only thing I said that was coming uh, clear with some black handles. Not totally clear. So probably could have saved these, saved these for something else. But this matches that dish. I mean, that big old bow. It's a, the same maker. Right. Uh What's it called? Um, Dr. Cass. Dr. I never can say that name. They're twisted stems, and I don't know. Is this black glass, David? Would you call this black glass or? It's black. Oh wait, it's green. It's not green. Those are black. That's black. What am I looking at? Is that a reflection? I don't know. Oh, it's popping that green. Yeah, it's black. <laughs> I see the green reflection of that up there. That's all. Okay, these stand eight inches tall. A set of four clear glass. Do they ring? These are those nice department store brands. Karen says those are sexy. <laughs> I 
just like that big square uh big square bow dish I oh the he, same maker yeah yeah like i think that, that would who crystal the arts Benny? yeah chris yeah and i did forget to tell y'all i have two giveaways tonight um that are wine glasses as a pair i got two sets of pairs that i'm going to be giving away as tonight in a drawing at the end of this. All right, so if we have no interest in these wine glasses, Circle 7 Farm. Circle 7 Farm. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Where are you from? <laughs> Should be the clear glass ham, butter glass ham. Okay, if we have no interest in that, let's see. Do we have anything else? Oh, one last. I think this is the last thing. The, the pineapple. All right. We're going to pass oh, it's on Texas. these. Well, hello, we're in Houston. We're going to pass on the wine glasses here. Okay. And I'm going to set those aside. And I think our last item before speed round. Thanks for joining us. We'll have a speed round for if you miss some of the other stuff. is we have this little trinket dish pineapple clear pineapple let me see the whole thing stands about uh, six inches tall the actual oh in dallas okay the actual uh compartment is about four and a quarter tall it's a pineapple. We have a lot. Of, we have a few Texans in the chat, so welcome. The butter glass cam. You want to highlight that? Did you highlight that? What the start? Yeah. No, I thought I did. This is starting at eight. Starting at eight for the pineapple. Thanks, Karen. Yeah, I don't think there's a maker on this. I might have had a sticker at one time. The opening is about three and a quarter. Minnie's at eight. Thank you, Minnie. I think clear glass is so elegant. Minnie's here in Houston, isn't she? Uh-huh. Yeah, Minnie's in Houston. She's our neighbor. She's not very far from us. No, she's not very far. She's um, around just, the Beltway. Just right north, off the Beltway. Just northwest. Many, we're right off the Beltway too, going towards the east. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start. You ready to count this down? Man, let's count this down. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. It's scary. Okay, Minnie, that's yours. Thank you, Minnie. Thank you, Minnie. Let me see what what is that one? Let me write that number down. Okay. Okay. Hey, I think that's that's everything. All right, let me show you this real quick. How are you doing this? Um numbers? Uh yeah, I guess. These are gonna be the giveaways tonight after we do speed round. We're gonna do speed round first. So here I'm gonna show you these. You're gonna get this pair. They're um, Cling them together real quick. Okay, glass. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. These have um, a square base. What did what did you call it? Stem. A, the stem is what um, where it's straight lines. What is it called? Octagons. One of those. One of those numbers. Octagon. <laughs> it's then, eight sides. 
another one complete clear same style but with twist stems is it twist yeah twist many says is her box full now no it will be <laughs> with all these big items it may be many so those will be the choices but first hi diana hello diana you she made said it she enjoys our videos hi from southeast texas oh wow southeast so near the border orange beaumont beaumont hampshire finette lumberton winning that's not too southeast all right y'all know what time it is <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Go ahead. We're doing speed round first. I guess I'll do it over here on the cam still. Yeah. What is the first one? Um. The ashtray. Ashtray. So the first item we have is the. What? Here. The Costa Boda, the Bertil Valian for Costa Boda ashtray. And that is. Uh, hey, don't know how to do this. $18, number six. <laughs> he forgot the name of it. <laughs> $18, number six. What's the next one? Tell me. The salt and pepper Hoosier shakers. $16, number seven. Near Houston? Okay. We're on the East Beltway. $16 number seven, right? $16 number seven. Next is the Fostoria candy dish, and it is $16 number eight. $16. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> Next is the um the one with the chip, the flat round candy dish. It's Just large to, but flat. And it's round. very large. It, it's on the edging, one of the edging on the lid, I believe. Right there. Eight dollars, number ten. If you want it to claim it, just do the number I'm saying. Eight dollars, number ten. Now it's flat price. We're not doing any bidding no more. We're just going through and showing you what's left. Next is the Indiana glass compote. Kathleen, seven and eight. Just verify seven and eight. Yes. Kathleen, let us know. Seven and eight. Yes. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> this is usually the other way around. Uh, the next item is the Indiana glass. Indiana glass compote. Twelve dollars, number fourteen. Twelve dollars, number fourteen. The next item is. The Bobesh, Bobesh, four, and those were um, for Cambridge. Cambridge, twenty-five dollars, number fifteen. Twenty-five for the glass Bobesh from Cambridge. Twenty-five, number fifteen. The next item are the glass coasters. Four glass coast coasters. I think one. One is not a match with the etching. It matches this. Oh no, no, don't. Okay, flower. Yeah, not quite. Yeah. But they're they're mix match. Yeah. These should have had a gold trim on it. Two of them had a gold trim. Ready for your spring picnic. And one does not. Or your spring patio. Nine dollars, okay. number twenty. For the set of four. So nine dollars, number twenty, set of four. Then we have the antique. 
shelf riser. This is an antique heavy glass shelf riser. And I believe this was 12 inches. 12. 12 inches tall. $25, number 21. Then we have the Modern Tone, one pair of Modern Tone coffee cups, $10, number 34. Just type in 34 if you're interested. $10, number 34 for the pair. Then we have the Manhattan Compote. Manhattan Compote, $16, number 35. Everyone's munching it on the pretzels in the lurker lounge. <laughs> they're 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 eating up all the snacks. Mm -hmm. Their mouths are full. Then we have the sugar and creamer Indiana glass sandwich, which is ten dollars, number thirty-seven. And then the single snack tray, eight dollars, number thirty-eight. And I think, it, what's this? Um, this, wait. No. The, oh, the cut, this. Base. We have the, with a chip, the. Has a chip on the base right has here. Has a chip on the base. You can hide that in the back if you're displaying it. But this is cut glass, $16, number 41. Very old glass. Karen K will take 21. Thank you. Thank you, Karen Kay. We got you for the shelf riser. Shelf riser. Oh, you're going to love this. David's trying to love his. <laughs> it's antique. You're going to you're gonna like it. It's, it's very nice. It's going to display real nice. Okay. And this was $16 number 41. $16 number 41. You're welcome. Then... Um, hurricane. Was that candle tray? It's a six dollars number forty four. A hurricane lamp should be on here, and it holds a little skinny candle. Those little skinny candles. Six dollars number forty four. I will try to find a a boat, you know, a hurricane lamp to go on it. Clear edge flower. The. Oh, your clear base. I put my clear oh. base on it. That nine, 10 inches? Uh-huh. Uh, 10 inch etched uh, flower vase. It's got nice etching on it. Very simple and nice etching. It is. Etching. It is what? $8, number 45. That's eight dollars number forty five, and then the oh she got that one. And this, you flip it back over. We still have the extra one of the bud base. One bud base, and this was eight dollars number twelve. Eight dollars number twelve. Yeah, that shelf riser is actually an antique. So, congratulations. Those are those are like KP says, way old, way old. Okay, now for if you bought tonight, <clears throat> for those that purchased, they get first pick. Yes, we'll let them choose. So it's a, you pick the number, David, and you write it down so you can show them. It's going to be the square stem or a twisted stem. And David's going to tell you to pick a letter or a number, whatever you're picking. He's going to tell you what to pick from. Okay, pick a number from. Between. Between one. Between one and 30. Between one and thirty. If you want one of these as a gift, 
the free giveaways. I don't even know what the number is, so I can't help you. Can you guys show me? KP. Where? Where's my stop? There's my number, 17, if you purchased. Sorry about my handwriting. <laughs> okay, KP won that one. Okay, KP. You want the square stem or the twisted stem? Oh, make that big. Square stem or twisted? Hold on, we get one more, Cindy. She wants to twist it. Okay. We got another twist set it. here left. And it's for the square stems. All right. What numbers are we picking through? And this is everybody now? Or purchases only? Purchases. Right. Okay. Purchase only. You want here, put that with that one. Oh, good. Yeah, that helps. Okay, I need a number between 30 and 50. Go. 30 and 50. Forty-five, forty. <laughs> he getting two numbers in at a time. <laughs> Karen K. No, not that. Where? Oh, it just moved again. Right there. Oop, no. All right, Karen K. You're the first at with thirty-three. There's the thirty-three. And you're gonna get the square ones. Square You'll get the square ones. Square pants. Put her name on that and let me put that with it. And that is everything. Oh, I think I need to teach David how to do some packing. Huh, huh. And I can teach you how to take care of leukemia physicians. <laughs> no. <laughs> what would you rather do? I guess Pat. The complex world of babying leukemia physicians i'm not a babyer the I, finest in the world i am not a babyer i can't do it i can't i couldn't do it if you're not willing to wipe my butt in my old age <laughs> you are not willing let's get rid of this close it hit it then you are not ready to coddle the finest leukemia physicians in the world yeah I can't even cuddle yeah. the finest husband in you're, the world. You're not ready for that. <laughs> Thank you for being, call me the finest husband in the world. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to comment on that. Okay, so nobody caught my little, um, she loves my me. little meme. They didn't, they didn't catch it. Your meme? Nope, we're going to, I'm not going to say nothing until they comment. do. Until they do. When we use it over and over. <laughs> Well, y'all, thank you, thank you so much. This was cleared a lot of my shelves. This really helped because I got three, a little bit more, but three. Kathleen piles says in that there. you pack extremely well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm very afraid of stuff breaking. I am very afraid of that. KP messaged me today to tell me that she got her packages, and I seen KP, and she says. I receive my package and every time I read that my heart drops. <gasps> <What broke? laughs> my first thought, my first reaction, I received my package. Uh, then I just gasp. Something happened. Y'all should start it out with yay <laughs> or something. <laughs> Cause I always, always guess when I um, get a message like that. Oh, dang it. I have to deal with this. I told her, well, maybe we should tell them if they email you, 
that it's just to start at the subject with good or bad. <laughs> so you just know off the top. <laughs> Let's talk. It's well, good. if this is bad, you're going to hard shut and drop yeah. it. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, there was a few items left. Just a few. Um, I'm going to try to find this because I think this will be darling when I find it. I'm going to go look. Thank you, Karen Kay. This weekend for... Thank you, Pee Wee. The canes. That... Well, we, you know, we're always running into things that need the little hurricane shades. I do have so another So we should lamp. just pick up singles. I just forget some. to measure it because I didn't realize they come in so many different sizes. Yeah, but sizes. we should vary it just by a, I have five I or have six so just much in room. case. Yeah, because I have so much room. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I collect fairy lamp tops and bottoms. I guess so. I should do that. Mm -hmm. I have a collection of tops and miscellaneous. I can't tell if she's mocking me or not. <laughs> Thank you, Italian Jersey woman. Y'all, thank y'all for joining us. Y'all, y'all make this so successful. You know, I can't even say that word. So fun. Yeah, we went over three hours today. Oh, we did. We had a lot. I of did stuff. have a lot more than I normally do. Yeah, I did. I'm gonna turn in my overtime sheet. I could have had more, and I was like, "Oh, this is enough." <laughs> and I'm, you know, and I got to be the one to pack it all. So, well, you know, we choose our career. So I'm going to try, what's today? I'm going to try to get Thursday or Friday, get my next haul out from Round Top. Since y'all saw the Round Top shop along, I'm getting the haul done for that. And I do have two more sitting there. I know I keep telling y'all that, but, uh, I, you know, I got to psych myself up to do these hauls and talk to the camera, you know, so. <laughs> I can help you with the haul tomorrow. Okay. I have, I have two, a morning meeting and an afternoon meeting. Okay, I do need to get that done. Maybe but we so, can get a couple of them done. So we'll start a haul about 7 o'clock. In the morning? Yeah, and then uh, we'll get that haul done. Mm -hmm. Then I'll have a meeting. Oh, you're going to do one by yourself for me is what you're saying. Oh. Ah. I'm going to say, and she bought this. Don't know what it is. <laughs> she bought this. Don't know what this is. <laughs> uh, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> I have a question. So I like the runners and the embroidery and Scott had like one of his runners that was gorgeous on one side and then sun faded on the other side because of the way he displayed it. And I found a gorgeous <laughs> antique runner, but it's mainly silk. The top was silk and it had issues. Does it matter if it has issues? Cause this thing was old, but it was still go It had all the character. And I let, I'm like, I hope it's there. If it's, if it's still available Friday when I go to Round Top. You were worried about getting a piece of. I'm picking it up. Is it silk. It was silk, right? Silk. Okay, y'all, I'm not familiar with it. Can you dry clean silk? I thought you could. I thought that's how you're supposed to wash silk. Let's have it dry clean. <laughs> 7 a.m., what's that? Because <laughs> he was worried about how to clean that. <laughs> Maybe y'all will know and y'all can tell us. <laughs> Take yes, your time. Try clean the silk. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah. Because I didn't I didn't think you would throw it in the washer. It's got little tiny issues too. Like they, they use this stuff. So like as as there were maybe moving things or stuff sat there, there's like tiny, tiny, like little snag or snag not a snag, but because that you see, Silk snags, you see it, right? Oh yeah. It'll, it'll, mm -hmm. yeah. It's like a little hole, like something bit it, or like not bit it, but you know something. I don't know. I have to look at it again. Yeah, but I but just... but you saw the embroidery and mm -hmm. the, the it was the needlework was beautiful. I don't know. I, I may pick it up anyway. If it's still there. Because I feel the colors of it was what. It's like it was a black silk. Uh, the best I can describe are the edges were purple at once, but it's kind of like over time how that old purple fades into like a royal crown royal purple, not sun fade, but just like age fading. And the stitching was very deco uh, squares and you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like square. That's what I was thinking. Cindy. With some flowers, but the colors were vibrant, like reds, blues, greens. It it was 
I, I just have to pick it up. Do you I'm, think the I little hose there. or the snags you thought it might have been a moth thing situation? Maybe it could have been a moth hole. I don't know. Did they write I have to go silk? look at it again. He showed it to me at a glance, but I kept walking with this. It was lady. almost three feet long. It was almost three feet long. It was probably about a foot, a foot to 14 inches wide, if I remember right. Let's see, I draped it on my arm, so yeah, maybe about a foot. But I don't know. you can tell it's odor. It had a little bit of uh, wet. I'll, if it's there, it. I'll take a picture on my Instagram. And y'all comment immediately. When and I'll, I see it or I'll do a short, a short on my channel on at, at because it's cool. Same on my channel for YouTube or or um, Instagram. But thank you so much. Thanks for hanging in here with us. Forty six still in. Maybe a pool. I don't know. I'll I'll take a picture of it. I'm hoping it's still there. We'll see. Don't know. It's one of our favorite vendors we like going to. She always makes the awesome displays. Very cool displays. I think I've I I posted her on my Instagram before a couple of shows back. And it's always different every time we come. She has those uh coffee tables where they're cut in half and put on the wall as shelves stacked on top of each other, you know, in different, you know, different ways. I, it's just, it was really cool design. Fun, whimsical design, not elegant. No, whimsical. whimsical. So. All right, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming, you guys. I'm reading the chat. So it looks like I'm, I, I look like uh, Al Pacino, Colonel Slag and Son of a woman. Hoo! Because <laughs> I'm well, not looking in the camera. Y'all jo enjoy y'all's Easter this weekend. Happy Easter, you guys. And uh, and next, the following weekend is Grammar's 104th birthday. Actually, next Wednesday is her birthday. Who? Uh, Isn't her birthday on a Wednesday? Let me look real quick. Tammy, if I was a man I was 20 years ago, I'd take a flamethrower to that buddy. Yes, Grammar's birthday is on a Wednesday. Cool. How about that? My birthday was on a Wednesday. Our anniversary was on a Wednesday. Or something else on a Wednesday. Uh, hump days on a Wednesday. <laughs> cool. Something else we had. It was an event and it was on a Wednesday. Since then. I have dance lessons on Wednesday. I don't even remember. And now Grammar's birthday is on a Wednesday. Cool. Cool. I want to have Lisa uh, get her online that night and y'all can all tell her happy birthday. Okay. So she can see it and read the chat. She's going to be like, who we're are on, these people? Are they kin to us? <laughs> KP says we're on YouTube on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. We're on. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, you guys, for coming and joining us and all you new people and all the people in the Lurker Lounge. Hello, fellow Texans that joined us tonight. I know half of you are already gone, but, you know. KP, be safe in that weather. Even though you say it's not serious, be safe anyway. Yeah, because, you know, a little bit of boosh, light in the sky scares him and he's running for shelter. <laughs> That's I'm going to die by lightning, you know. That's what he's afraid of, really. <laughs> I think he's wishing it upon himself. He says it so much, it's going to happen. It's going to happen while I'm running away. Like, <laughs> Ooh, it's lightning. I'm going to mad dash to the car. It better be quick. <laughs> Okay, you guys, thanks for coming. We'll see you next Tuesday. I'm here Tuesday with uh, Miss Martha at 2 o'clock Central, 3 o'clock Eastern, and be back with you on Wednesday here with David. With me. Say bye, Tam Tam. Bye, Tam Tam. Let's wait for the kids. <laughs> Where is it? Bye. Bye. Five, four, three, two, one. If you click that and click that subscribe button okay. up there, up there. and click. Click, give a big, big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Bye. Bye.